And what are you really expecting today, Yanko? Because it's do or die time for some of these teams. Yeah, well, I'm expecting in our first game of the day for NIP just to take care of business really against Team 1. Uh, we heard from Hampus, he thought they just seriously underperformed against Liquid, that that wasn't themselves, that wasn't their true face. Managed to uh, grab an important win against Entropic, who beat Fury on day one, so, you know, that would have put them in really dire straits if they lost that game. And later on, we have uh, Liquid and Tropic. I think that's going to be an interesting one. Liquid so far playing really, really well. Lost yeah. that close game yesterday against Gamut. So if they continue to do that, they shouldn't have any problems. But if they somehow have an off day today, that can be a close game as well. And then the last of the day going to be Gambit up against Furia, which uh, Gary, you know, he's been able to put up some good performances so far. Is able to get two knives in, but that's going to be, whoa, sorry, the toughest challenge I think for him and his team when we do get to it. There's so many people in that NIP room. Yeah. I would be so tilt like if, if that was my team or if, if, if those were my players. I would just get the hell out, all of you. <laughs> just leave that one guy with the cool camera like yeah, that yeah. does the 4K stuff and you stay like two, well, you stay like six feet away from any of the players, yeah. ten feet away from me, and like yeah, let us play the game. Jesus. Well, they do need an extra guy in there just in case device breaks his monitor punching it so they can bring a new one in. So like it's yeah. like a pit stop crew, right? They yeah. Reinstall the new one. Uh, but they've had their one, own two, struggles, three, it seems. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> what? Do you want me to help you? One, two, nine. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. That's yeah, too many people. people in the room. And actually, Team One doesn't go for Mirage. That was interesting. interesting. That was interesting. Like that, NIP didn't didn't ban the map that Team One picks the most. They banned the map where they feel they're the weakest on. And NIP only played Nuke three times in the last three months, but they're 100 percent win rate on it. And we see actually NIP uh, has to go for uh, Overpass here. I I think that's a good one. That's ha has been their pick before Ancient for a while as well. They seem to like to pick these. So you're expecting what a Mirage ban probably come through last out of NIP? Yeah. What Take that leaves us with dust too. Yeah, could be that or NIP, maybe not really considering themselves a dust two team could leave, but okay, they they beat to Mirage just so that it's not a map where team one is feeling really good on. So could be a top pincer here with two lingering in the lobby. Oh perfect flash for Hampus' position. He's lost them and Maluki deletes. Need Plopsky to connect. His bullets here a bit flustered and yeah, call it done. They're into the site and the headshots are hit. Simple as that, I suppose, Chad. That flash really did nullify any info NIP have. Yeah, it was quick. He got a lot of space for free and then just pouncing on that device. We saw him looking crispy yesterday with the USP on Ancient. I'm sure they would love just to get a map. Oh, dude. Just a map. And especially considering how close they got twice. Hampus is having a looky loo, and he can actually let them know that it will be ramp or a top hit. Oh, my Malps is in the electronic angle. It's very hard to clear. Very. Oh, he looked away. Still gets it. Okay, so Hampus is not going to get any information other than one silo. Oh, nice Ooh. close door, but yeah, you're dead, mate. the device oh. takes one with him. PRT caught out a little. Uh, the conversation we're having before oh, starting to pauses. heat up a little bit. Yeah, you're right. We've talked about it, and we'll return to that conversation after this commit. Rez just gets a free frag, no flash, no issue. Rez now caught out, but it's getting costly in Linus' is Deagle. Too threatening, 15 seconds. Maluki does have a chance, and it is hinging on a B bomb plant. Door slam shut. Maluki with a loud sound cue and hunting for Plopsky here in the vents. Oh, he's just a little shy. Yeah, they knew the device was close vent. Yeah, they had actually worked out well for them in the beginning here, but that hesitation came back to haunt them in a big way, and 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah, now they're going to try and hit NIP with the same treatment. On the receiving end, there's some goodies there, but top, we're out. Squeaky's open. The vent dropped into Hampus' hands. Oh, and there we'll goes... We'll take that. ...all their armor and util. Yeah, and the bomb. I, if we can get the cam on the side... Oh, nice shot there from PRT. Like, and you're getting a bit of monitor. You mean like a device angle, the one we yeah, saw there? Yeah, if it was like a, even a little bit more like Front on off. his shoulder. Yeah, like, so we good. get a bit monitor, a bit of face. Uh, that would be sick. Like, I think that is maybe even a better angle than the one that's front on. I, think, I feel like NIP have woken up on the right side of bed today. Just as it looked like they were flirting with the flash, a smoke arrives on the door, and we continue to just rot time off that clock. CIS, Counter-Strike, there's the flash. That's the go, and you can see, not blind, just complete vision here, so the flash is doing absolutely nothing. Three swift ones, the bomb gets loose towards the squeaky door, and we'll call this the third round now from NIP, so a great start from them. But yeah, it took Liquid to reawaken the ga Gambit Ooh. Beast. That's a lovely opener from Malbs.
Oh, the timing on this. Hampus gets some shoulders and he gets another double. They oh. get triple. <laughs> Hampus locks them down, locks them out. Mouth with a recovery of his own. What a shot out of him. That's three for him in this it round. Is. And it's going to be another two required if he wants the ace clutch. 40 seconds. Oh, and he's knocked the head off a of Plopski. Mouth is on a mad oh. run, but Hampus is just as good. We've seen him lock them down with a passive play and towards secret. Now we're seeing him go for some more. Deagle spotted towards yard. That info is going to be grazed. Device. I'm yeah. going to want to get caught off by another Deagle bullet, I'm sure. Oh, and they, all it takes is a couple more clicks out of the Deeks to be a threatening round. Device, very brave to be peeking, taking all those individual fights. Well, he's hitting them. Yeah. He's not finishing them off here, so lucky Plopski's around. There's a kill for Device. Linus chimes in from ramp. And more on his plate, so Maluki... Able to get this org. This round can still get interesting. It can. He'd have loved a smoke. It's the HE instead. And a little bit of room to stretch his legs. He has got to once again contend with Rez. If he does just go for this plant, he might be caught out. Hello. No is uh, how Rez communicates. Yeah, they're trying something quick here. Trying something very quick through the mini room. And already the gap in the smoke is good for another Hampus double. How many multi kills does the one man have? PRT has taken one for himself, a 1v1 established now with some quick shooting. It's him and Device. Locked oh. in a 1v1, and as he averts <laughs> his gaze, Device strikes down just as PRT called it clear in his head. I think it landed exactly where he wanted, so the gray screen won't be tempted, but into main, PRT. Yeah, this is cheeky. And Device won't have any info, be none the wiser, and he's lost his life. That's some entries from PRT. Comes into this round the way he left the other. Might be a save here. I don't think NIP can contest a round like this. I think they're already tucking tail and trying to get back towards spawn. Spotted now by PRT. Ooh. He wanted more. He got more. This is going to be a very standard and well thought out CT rotates. Have the Molotov in their wheelhouse. Oh, what a find and converted in the nick of time. X and S uh, very early into the piece. He has, however, been caught by Rez's crawl. They've slipped through uncontested. PRT, the unknown entity, and he's been caught again. It's a highly impactful defensive round out of Rez. And with the bomb now down, they need to see a Maluki frag or a Malbs before they can start dumping that Uta. They've got flashes to reposition, but you need frags, and there's one from Maluki's AWP. Unfortunately, he's lost Malbs. If they slip through, he's going to lose this round. He doesn't get a chance to pull the trigger. Device, all he has to do is survive. Got to think about this. Device trying to actively contest. He's done well to force the fights, but he's just lost his teammates. Oh, all of them. They collapse. The entire Team 1 squad gone. If Device is forward, Device will at least falter. The kill comes in. Hampus gets the final kill. Great grenade there. Look at that right in the legs of two. And there's still a gap in the smoke. Yeah, there is. Hampus can contribute. He's got to time his spray well, and he has chunked two of them. PRT and Malbs, the walking wounded. Popsky in a prime position just to poke his head up at the right time. It's a strike as the tail end does go through. He's kind of pinned, isn't he? Yeah, he's actually got a lot of work to do. He can claw them away in. He can see he's jiggling to contend with one. How has he found that? Rez has gone down, and Malbs is the one to step up. Doesn't matter of the low HP. He's pulled them two frags out of nowhere. Pesadero to plant. LNZ can't. <gasps> Maybe he can. Pushing in. Cost a lot of health, though. So Pesadero. Oh, no. He goes down without a single word of concern. And Malbs has to do it all. He can't do it. They ask so much of him. He can only really jiggle, right? He can't stay on the line too hard, but back towards ramp and Device is here. Ooh, that's the start. And if they can just humble this AWP, Device stands and delivers two in a big capacity. A trio of frags leaves Team 1 with only two. Oh, broken. And now a flank as well. Pesadera adjusts into one, not ready for the Plopsky crunch. And PRT, they know and suspect he was the one walking yard. Not ready for the off angle there. Lucky to land a couple of bullets. I would take five, and I'm sure they would too. It would require something crazy out of this Mac 10 and pistols, and that's the start. That is a that's good start. That's a great start. Just, let's not stop. Let's not stop at all. Keep holding that W key. Orb to pressure out that AWP, perhaps. That could be cool too. They're closing the gap. Device will be on a timer here. Mm, nasty smoke. If you just hit that little lip, right, that little red lip, the mm. smoke stops. Oh, the door swings open. X and S's Deeg fills the feed. Chad, there's something here. 
Okay. Malp goes looking for another fight. Hampus has had a good bit of damage inflicted. The Deagle's taking him down to 30. Device times this so well. And it looks like he could get another well handled. Pesadeo jumping in to keep him honest. Hampus shouldn't win this. He shouldn't. And he doesn't. Pesadeo recovers and it's pistols breaking through the ramp hold. Yes. Very familiar. Very familiar. Pesadeo's having a go. It is only unarmored Deagle, so we would expect this to be done. Thank you, Maluki. That's the no-scope necessary. They have the top site. Hampus could cause chaos here if they're not expecting it. Oh, oh and I don't think they are. Hampus. I don't think they are. Not He's on the, on the ladder, ladder, does tag him up, doesn't opt to commit, and so I can calm down. So here for Team 1, when you're down in such a hole, right, they're just assuming that NIP probably had enough money to go for some form of a buy. So they've just gone with a classic top pop, right? It's something that uh, is a bit risky when you go through the smokes. You saw the initial exchange and how it could have gotten out of control, but handled. Yeah, and when you're doing top pop, especially when Plopsky and Linus have both early into this half, proven that if you run out of hope without good util, we're just going to kill you. Yeah. Rez did as well from the top position. Device back down towards Secret with the AWP. Let's see if he can stop PRT's crawl. And PRT just hey. through the smoke. You'd love to see it. This would be a lot, though. At least keeps him humble. Linus, after being drive by by the Mac 10, will play a incendiary defense. Yeah, that gives up so much room. And look what PRT has as well. He can rumble this right now. Oh, he's hearing pins pulled as well. T side venting, nose one squeaky side. His team knocking on the ramp door. Timing is everything here. And Rez, <laughs> the teammate, but it baits him in. It actually works. I hate it. He accidentally baits in PRT. Uh, it, the thing is, right now, they could still go around towards heaven. Going towards lower. Oh, Linus. Yeah, this is really brave. He's trying to catch someone, and he has. Goes evenly, and that might spiral into a low sight attack. Util check, it's liked. It's only flashes, and device just doesn't seem to be missing. March and two into the feed. Feeding him indeed. Oh, and finally, Pesadeo claws one back for team one. They got 30 seconds and one close. Rez on the walk. Pesadeo crosshairs in the wrong place. Does adjust nicely. Looking to shape up, but running in with his knife foul. Plopsky, the element of surprise, and there wraps up the half. NIP, prime position to collect themselves the final five. We swap inside, NIP to attack to finish off Luke. T1 are looking for a little bit of that here on the CT side, and the P250, I think it has other... other... The strategy before, um, you put a P250 on simple and go up yard, and okay. Chad Burchill's School of Counter-Strike has employed it before as well. It hasn't translated directly into the win device, however, with two from his B250. Has done mission presence alone, has pulled Malbs out of position. Maluki has spotted him, and device continues to confirm CT locations. X and S. Oh, a bouncy T, and Plopsky does knock his head off. Oh, Malbs short-lived as well. Falling apart now for Maluki, and device to finish the job. He started it well, and it's Rez to finish. Well, obviously. Well, the weasel was popped. Yeah, and you can only pop one weasel. Certainly. Maluki has managed to throw a bullet down range successfully. It's left Hampus limping, and Pesadeo unfortunately spotted out. NIP not going to let you sneak. Well, seems like no dramas. Just going to... Uh... Device go kill. Yeah, 20 kills for Device now. And I think the thing is... Maybe Device is a pretty good player. You reckon? Yeah, I don't I don't know where I'm getting that from. I think it might be a uh, worth like, I don't know, a super large buyout. I think so. Uh, they have something at the USP here. Let's see. He's got a lot of space. He's hearing a symphony of pistols. Ding, ding, ding. But the kills are coming in elsewhere. So it is not going to get interesting. Even if Hampus goes down, he just loses a USP. It's not the end of the world. They were just sending him fishing regardless. That ding's not too bad, though. Ooh. Oh, he gets the info. Pesadeo, just a little unfortunate on the timing there. Now, uh, guys, I don't, want, I don't want you to stop watching the broadcast. Definitely keep watching the broadcast. But I want to give you something to do in the interim if this is a, a quick 2-0, because the next series doesn't start until 4.45. Now, uh, Alige, he released a video on his YouTube after their game against NIP just the other night. He did it. It was like a 24-hour turnaround. He has a video out on his YouTube channel with the voice comms. It might just be the slightest of gaps here. There you go. 
Oh, oh. What was that out of mouth? Two bullets as well. Yeah, two bulleted. Just a little rail gun. NIP just put it towards Yard and went denied. They will need to find a frag back. I don't think I want to go near Mal. No, he does just seem like the uh, the real hottest prospect our team won so far. Like, I mean, he just seems to be capable of finding frags when no one else can. Heard Fury, I need a fifth. Plopski's no slouch, so it is about timing on these jiggles. He's got a chance and a perfect execution. He's got the bomb on his side, and he wants more. Walks in, tucks in, bombs in front of him, and PRT, he's been molotov out. His brief position cost him his life, and if Hampus can work his magic on this, he's been spotted out prior to contributing. And yeah, this should be the end of it. Malb's just with more, and Team 1 put their first defensive round on the board. They are lining up the nades here. Hampus, the smoke over towards heaven. Yeah, it could be a big top. At least it feels like it. Let's see how the CTs react, and accordingly, PRT's just been molotov out. Didn't really get much of a chance there. Gobbles up a flash after the flames forced him into the open, and another body's already dropped. Bomb has been Team one, very short-lived celebrations. Of course, it's Mouse that makes this threatening. He's got to clear that angle as well. He's so aware, so alert, and he's pulled his team back into a viable retake oh. here. Device looks the wrong way. Maluki can strike. Team one set for a go here. Even Linus is low here, and more for Malbs. I can't quite believe he's doing it all. Linus with 6 HP, Malbs is going to swing in first. XNS to trade, and just enough time for the retake. I don't know where they found him. He will be oh, clear. they know, they know. Lopsky looked away at the wrong time. Rez keeps it honest. But Maluki's dealt with Rez already. Now, there is a sound cue required. The window, I think, just legit saved his life. You think from the ding? I think the window just saved his life. It, it, it reduced the damage that much that he lived. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, triple pain. That's crazy. But bullet resistant. Not bulletproof, but bullet resistant. Device, last man alive. Every bullet out of his M4 was finding the mark there, but Malb's too good. 22 for Malb's. Do I this see is hot? aggressive. Yeah, hot aggressive on the... Oh! Blobsky's shoulder is enough. And Maluki spots more. He's ready and brave. He wants more frags. Continues to contest this lobby position. Ampus is going to oh. swing straight into the Maluki orb. And just as you called upon him, Chad, he delivers with some flair. A lobby push. They continue to force the issue. And why not? There's only one man left in his res. On the reload, Maluki will post up, and Rez would have to hit the perfect refire. That's all Maluki, four in total. Looks like a lot of fun. I've seen Launder's stories run away. Malbs has got a whole team ahead of him, and just as the perfect timing, Maluki arrives in the ramp. He's lost his life and his orb. Plopsky just completely betrays the smoke. He seems to have a good idea as to where Pesadeo is holding. Oh, the tracking is just phenomenal from Hampus. Malbs. Struggling with his 30 HP, he's toying with him. Plopsky swings wide, oh, and this no. one is falling apart at the seams. Yeah. And all Malves can say is they came ramp, and I only got two. <laughs> Did more than my job. Sorry, guys. Soz. Yeah, oh. that's a. It's a tough one to lose. The thing is, he, he like, delayed. Like, what he, more can you ask of him? I don't know. Like, and we know his death. That was when he was dancing with Plopsky. He just got eventually wide swung. Doors open, and it looks like Device's door is slammed shut. Maluki responsible. And aggressive. Changes his setup and a deep smoke into lobby. That will keep the NIP boys busy. Don't mind that at all, right? They're going to have to spam through. They're going to have to flash to clear and hamper as well. The fact that he's going to find himself now back behind the red box, oh. I think he wants to help this lobby. SNS lays his life on the line to take one with him. I mean, they are still pushing. Like, part of me would be fine with them just be taking the advantage while they have it. Oh my goodness. Uh, who's accounting for main? They've got PRT and Pesadeo in heaven, and there's the frag required. Looking to extend play. Two frags separating them from it, and Rez has done very well to PRT. Oh! Plopsky out. <laughs> Orps the Orpa with his AK. That felt like a guarantee. Yeah, I thought he'd have that all day of the week. Maybe there are still a little bit of potential for NIP to finish it here in round 24. Rez planting, Klopsky checking. He knows where you are, Malbs. Good for the fight. Rez to reposition Pesadeo to catch him, and it does just iron out onto Klopsky. After clutch, he doesn't really have the bullets for this, and nice work from Malbs. Patient on the retake. He says play on. Yep. And when any emergency stops, no turning around, we're off to Frankfurt. None of that. 
And Hampus this time. Pesadero with an aggressive maneuver, and they don't have info on what's behind that wall. Full commit to a spray and bit walked on. Malves, Malves has got nothing. It's up to Pesadeo oh, oh. and some sharp shooting sets his team up for success. Maluki will go wide. He'll give you what you desire and it is another round for team one. Using it to exploit perhaps with a bit more of an aggressive maneuver. An aggressive maneuver is exactly what Maluki's pulled out. Rez just obliges. I think he's just on the jiggle. Uh, uh, okay, doors open, let me check. Oh, he even hit that jumping Plopsky and it has fallen flat, unable to retreat. An AWP finds itself idle on the floor. CRT to be tested here. They're coming into his domain, and he does deliver exactly what required Pesadeo to find the final. It is just device. That CZ's not bad for some damage, but there you have it. 11 for Team 1. It looks like NIP are going to give outside another chance. Hamp is already down to 50. Maluki might be down there to at least challenge out the secret player. Oh, so close. One more bullet. So close to finishing off Hampus's cross, and he's super far ahead of the pack. And a miss from wide Maluki. Swing. Yeah, very wide. Gets the info early. They know they've got the orb to contend with down there. Oh, more damage. Oh, Pesadeo. He has done more than you could have asked. But unfortunately, nothing lethal, and that does give NIP a couple of options they're starting to juggle with. He is going to continue to clear, and oh, PRT has lost his life in the top site. Mal, put patience on him. Oh, nearly. Device. So low. Tagged down. It's so low. XNS has done well to catch the Hampus yard. Okay, Hope, hoping to bait with the steps. The adjustment oh. from Plopsky is not quite quick enough. One spotted heaven. The walking and wounded. the other planted. Nade doesn't quite hit the mark. They're both now isolated on the site. These flashes are their last ditch attempt. A bit of a team flash for Dam. Device good for one. X and S down low, as is Rez. Then Kulik connecting. Oh, damn. So damn close. 10 HP in it. The Ninjas will convert. And Team 1's nuke falls flat. Though we can say this, we had a couple of members on the side of Team 1 step up. Mob was able to put up some decent damage, 26 kills for himself. And Maluki, when it comes to CT side opping, this guy is on point. But unfortunately, they weren't able to close out the game, weren't able to get enough rounds on the CT side to uh, take it themselves. Yeah, I think they just managed to make it look respectable in the yeah. second half, really. After NAP won and converted the, the second piss round, they were up 14-4. You know, you could tell even in the way they were playing, there wasn't really much respect left there. They were just feeling, you know, this game, we're going to win two rounds, whatever we do. And they weren't <laughs> too worried um, about what was happening. And even in the final round of the game, right, you see it's a 2v2. I think the Vice kills the, gets the first kill, and then he just re-peaks in a 2v1. It's like, he would never do that against a proper team in a, in a proper close game. You know, what was it, 15-11, right? That's like, kind of close, right? But mm. he just doesn't care, even though his teammate is low. That's just a, a, a reckless play, really, and just shows you the mindset that they had towards the, the end of that game. Probably, like, also from the very beginning of that game. One expert odds very clearly favoring NIP. Scurry up, scurry in. Hey, and of course it's Malbs, the uh, shining beacon of hope for Team One. He's been kept very humble. And a 3v3 established. Once again, they armor up Device's P250, and he's still good for it. He has to do an awful lot, though, Chad. This is far from a guarantee, and X and S will have a rewarded jiggle eventually. All right, Rez. Oh, he's got so much oh. work, a lovely goosh, just one clock, one bullet out of it. Jiggle again, I dare ya. Yeah, that's going to give him some respect. And if I mean, to a. there's the threat of him going, right? He seems convinced that they're going to be coming from here, and oh, now he's chipped away at another. XNS is working with nothing. They've got 21 points of health between the remaining two of them, and even less now. Rez with five bullets left. It's all he needs for oh. the first. Pesadeo saves their hide. If I was going to hazard a guess? I reckon he works in video. You reckon he works in video? Yeah. There's no way. No? No He's way. He's hanging out with too closely of a threat. Digital bullets, huh? Digital, but we don't even see the bullets, do we? No, nothing more than a flashing light texture. That's a little boost there. Maluki grabbing the opener here of round number two. And I think this one is going to be difficult to claw back into. Haps is AK. 45 seconds on the clock, more pressure towards A. XNS's flank is coming and he gets one for free. Look at that. Lovely, but they did lose mouths in the process and it looks like Plopsky's not stopping. He's taken another. Pesadeo, just on a jump, loses his head. Have to turn around at some point here. They know XNS is coming behind and they're not ready for it. More damage done. 
Two low players. PRT strikes. And oh, oh we no. find ourselves in a two-on-one. Playing from heaven. Yeah. Off angle at the moment adopted by Hampus. So this is the hard clear. Oh. He's done the first of the two. Nice reaction. Yeah, this fake and re adjustment's going to have to be perfect out of XNS. It is a plant for heaven. Plopski. Oh, he's calling the bluff. Completely calls the bluff. He won't have to be able to do the same on the second. Oh, and XNS just doesn't have the time for this. Plopski, through positioning alone, will take the round. XNS are valiant attempt, but two 1v1s in our opening two. So they change over the guns right now, put the AK into the healthy member, flash out long. Res will peak eventually, and well, Hamps is the one to get the kills. He's now going to be chunked on down to around 30 HP, and XNS, the toes are spotted. Look at all this damage. Yeah, this is really promising. Okay, going to have to adjust quickly, and he has managed it very well. Takes another with him. Device is dead here. Malps just need one shot from this. In the back should be a sitter, and it is. The rest falling apart as Maluki scout again in the feed. Rez after clutch, there's too many men. Stack nades in play and Pesadeo, he's a little bit far away to cop all the damage of that. 84, he remains. Out of these two CTs, Maluki and Malps though, standing vigilant. Goes for a clear and finds Rez. Nothing else to report. Maluki wants to go over his own smoke here. It's effective. And he will stick around. The rest have not chosen to unload their pistols. Eventually, he topples, but set up for success. And these armored deagles do not last much longer. Team one, pull ahead. Alive and kicking as you can. And a nice little nade out of Malbs' hands there will take them a step in the right direction, softening them up, ready for any aggressive maneuvers. And, oh, he gets two for his troubles. Yeah, they do well to make that relatively costly. The MP9 bursts are chipping nicely away. That'll be enough for Maluki. Oh, Everyone's getting dinks handed their way. Handled. Handled eventually. God, everyone's a bit of a threat, aren't they? Even with the free pistol. Ooh, uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for a bit of cucumber as well. A bit of cuke. Dear Linus, I think you might get found out here. Luckily. Yes. Yeah, he's getting helped on out through the connector, <laughs> so... Thank you very much, Plopsky. Linus gets to live, and Hampus is already in A. Oh, Hampus. When Linus striking on the rotator, XNS is on notice. Oh, Pesadale was unprepared for device in this one, yeah. Two of them trying to deal with Linus, right? Just they, call it done. Yeah, they had to get that kill, otherwise it had nowhere for them to save. Now device is trying to apply some more pressure here. Down through bank, Malb seems aware of this. That one is all over. Oh, this is the change. He's going to get run down here. Hampus could have had that one. Plopsky does find PRT in the meantime, and this time they've immediately changed it up. They've gone with an aggressive A-lean here on this defense for Team 1. Yeah, and Maluki will have an opportunity to clear out this uh, playground walk. He's been very stubborn about the line he's opted for. And with Maluki combined with XNS elsewhere, Malbs is still aggressive for the fountain. He'll have info here and device. No, not ready for this. Not ready at all. No okay, Malbs should have at least one booked here. Bomb too. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Yes, indeed. And Malbs is handing out haircuts. 25 seconds remaining. Still this aggressive stance from Team 1. One head greeted. Malbs goes down. Maluki trades. And there you have it. Five to two. Here he is again, so another angle for him to find himself in, and he strikes, and he gets away, right? As long as the support network of teammates, which is Malbs, right, is just covering him off, he can fall back, find another line. And then Malbs strikes. Oh. It's a wombo combo. It's perfect. m and ms Nothing left. It has definitely got a bit of a nutty center, but I'm right there lurking in the smoke with a perfectly timed spray. Just needs to find this final kill now. Rez, last man standing. And I'm personally a bigger fan of the crispy M&Ms. I see I'm a nutty man myself. Yeah. 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 I was never allowed the blue ones growing up. Maluki looking to do some damage. Oh, it's going to be a lot for Malv to contend with. And if Maluki gets run down here, which he has, Linus's Glock, good for two okay. rebuys. Okay. Yeah, and it would be a fantastic time push if he was brave enough. XNS deals with the underpass position. They're clearing it out. Yeah, if he just gets the bomb down, that's the better of the two options right now. They don't know it. Another smoke towards the drop down position. Bomb gets planted, and now the 2 on 3 is established. The pressure now from Optimus' side, and while well, Linus deals with the first, it's time for PRT to activate. Activation is a failure, a catastrophe. This one's done. NIP are about to take a Glock round, Chad. It's falling apart for Team 1. Pesadeo, no hope.
After all of that, Malbs and Maluki continue to force the issue. It's going to be the three-man B defense to deal with. They're pre-aiming it. The flash from XNS has to be perfect. Let's see if their scrims has netted them a successful maneuver, and it has. The flash converted. They haven't winced to A either. They're still so aggressive. Look at this, Rez. There's no way he's going to be expecting that. Yeah, and now PRT's off angle rewarded as well. Looks like the slate can be wiped clean. He is going to be booked, and now we could open up the oh, world no, of a knife kill at the very least. Aware of the potential flank, 15 seconds as he does get pushed in. Nice find, Malbs caught out on the flank, and he's charging straight into Pesce Day. Oh my god, there's a world. He gets his eye to the scope, doesn't quite pull the trigger Ooh. in time. Team one. Here, they're just sticking to their guns, and this is not giving NIP too many options. So, down to just the pistols again, Maluki. I can't believe he's going for this against pistols. Oh. It's so brave. Just needs to... He could get overrun. There's no one really responsible for that party push. I say that as I see Malbs dug in. Oh, but Device is going to get the door swung open for him here. Yeah. Well, did they blow open the door? Did he just have his back turned to that completely? Potentially. I mean, that rifle's still in play. Device, that extra cash you alluded to. And now the bags are turned. Device, whoo. He's kept honest. I think that's a sigh of relief for all Team 1 fans there because Device really did go unchecked. In fact, yeah, I know you're there. Just held him in play. And you can see that the door was blown off, so... And Maluki's aggressive orb tracks the one, baited the shot. He's been run down here. Yeah, might not want to hang around for this one. Oh, but they're baited into mouths again, Chad. And again, he's good for a pair of frags. I don't know how he's pulled that out. I guess it's going to be scattered in other rounds, but... Let's go. Malbs might get another here. Frez caught out. <laughs> And that's the denial. Linus will at least shut him down, but it's still the 2v4. Okay, Maluki denied by the flame. Has to respect that. A lot of pressure now on Pesadeo, who has no issues. And so, Linus collapse. Conversion of nine secured. Your services are no longer required here, Maluki. Get your ass over, because Monster is busy. Oh, and Rez has got busy with the CZ. He shouldn't be getting two there. I don't know how he's got two in the clip. 12 bullets, two heads popped. Pesadeo's been fired out and over push. Not again, not a Glock. And then Tech 9 round. Oh, I suspect it might be. Requires the heroics of the previous A defenders. Malbs has swung through Monster. Hampus has gone round the world on him. Getting pushed. Maluki needs them oh. both. Rez with more. Malbs incredibly tagged up as well, Chad. And his chances falling apart. What happened? Hello. Goes for it. <laughs> he doesn't need a Tech 9 on the CT side, on the T side. Okay, okay, well, here's the change. Device with the orb, it strikes. Maluki found Maluki down. Trying to pick over towards B now, thinking that's where NIP might test, and they were right. It's a good call to make it this time. He's very vulnerable though, and yeah, Hampus will knock his head off. But a lot onto X and S's orb, and he's got multiple targets to contend with. That's great shooting. The smoke as well to lock out the bomb. He does more than enough. Another frag out of the AWP, and they're recovered. Team 1 set for 10 here. Plopsky's low. Does eliminate the Pesadeo threat. An XNS last seen. Malbs' oh flank. Oh my god, yeah, flank. I just saw Malbs' flank. As they focus on retrieving the bomb, Malbs with a trigger discipline will eliminate another. Puts it all onto the 7 HP of Plopsky. Team 1 with a recovery. It's XNS's AWP. Sleeper OP. Oh, baited the shot. Plopsky perhaps with more to play here. Multiple targets. Malbs core. X and S has to save the day here. Plopsky looking sharp. 7 HP. The AK is a better choice. Oh, oh damn. X and S will finish off the party. 10 found. Ooh, what a great half. So much info over the tip, though. Device perhaps tipping the scales. Malbs falls immediately into more defensive ah. position. He's going to pick up the AWP and test long. Wasn't ready for it. Hampus has already swung wide, and, well, NIP have got themselves a huge leg up into this one. Yeah, Pasadena is still rotating over towards A right now. NIP haven't decided where they want to finish just yet. Rez holding the bathrooms and PRT, where you can see what's on the other side of this once upon a time door. Another one falls, PRT blind. Everybody's a bit lost right now. Yeah, a bit of a team flash action as well. So NIP have managed to find themselves that fifth, the elusive Fifth round, it's locked in. What a half though, team one, competitive on the Ninja's pick. NIP looking to respond in kind, a lovely divider smoke to, oh, isolate these fights and through the gray screen they do lead PRTs oh. to 12 to catch one and that creates 
the chaos they were hoping for. Maluki's lost 99 points of his health. Popsy's got a Glock. Yeah, and Rez is on a flank, so Maluki doesn't live much longer. A single click is all it takes, and unable to find the mark. Plopsky's head just a bit too evasive. NIP will take the pistol. He's a rower. Now, McGowan is a very common name where I'm from, and you wouldn't believe it. He is from Perth, Western Australia. Oh, my God. That's just down the road from Dog Swamp. That's amazing. Dog Swamp's in, in Perth. Yeah, down the road. Down, actually, you're right. It is just down the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, Shout out, you nailed it though. Yeah. Like, all it took was some The visor and the, flip and, the, and the flip flops. As a rower, he was a junior world champion. Competed twice. Couple of nades there. They're, they're flying, I'm sure, Chad. And already breathing hampers. Oh, couple of headshot. XNS. All three. Has taken off the entire site. And he may not be done. It's just Rez left. The whole round has fallen apart for the poor ninjas. So with the bomb going off... They're committing to this. Yeah, it's like the pistol four into the B site for NIP. Oh, and he's so blind. The trades are there. Mouth keeps him honest. So now with only three left, Device is on the site. So is Hampus. Need to see some bullets start to connect. It is Device. Delivers only the one. That's Team it. one have taken another site by storm. Wow. And XNS as well. He gets the opening, then he's traded. So really, really good stuff. Start to leave the site on the hunt here. Everyone's planted their feet. Maluki, no device CT site at all. They have to hope that they can save an AK or two here, and they've stacked the wrong site. Team one, back towards the B-bomb site for one more time. One final trick, and they're already in, right? Look how far forward they are. Minute 35, mollies are perfect. There's no resistance. Nobody's shooting. Nobody's checking. Nobody's doing anything whatsoever. NIP realize wrong gamble has been called, and now it's just about scampering to see what they can find. Prior to that, it's been losses everywhere. Most recent loss on land was the IEM Cologne loss to Liquid. But NIP, yeah, just a 33% win rate. Two of the four. Yeah, I think taking Ancient away from NIP here kind of Two stumps of the them six. a little bit, right? Because if, if you're NIP, you don't want to be picking into Mirage if you've already seen how good Team 1 can be. Ooh, this could be an interesting time to pull it out. Maluki, a careful on the dismount. Well. Okay. Yeah. They do have four here, though. This is a great stack from NIP. Hampus to... Sniff it out. Ooh, ooh. Oh, lovely. Only getting the one, but allowed to reposition, so not too much sweat on the brow right now. Device doesn't need to activate. It's only Hampus' is silence them for it. He's not going to re-swing either. XNS and Malbs have done some heavy lifting here. It's not going to be easy to break with such low HP. Plopsky tucked in tight. Drops around the dice, and down goes the bomb. They're so low. Malves, you got anything more left in the tank? The answer is no. A solid denial from the ninjas. Look, when Device goes down without getting anything there, if there was another foot fault from somebody from NIP on the bomb site, then maybe there was a chance for Team 1. Through the molly, they do take a chunk of damage. Oh, down in connector here, nobody watching A, right? They are expecting another one of these Ooh. similar B pops, so there's a massive gap long. This is a good call. Yeah, great conditioning after succeeding on B so much. Why not just take a little bit of a lick from the flames to have a positional advantage? Maluki's already caught the underpass. SNS and Malps are going to walk into a completely uncontested this side. Oh, PRT caught fumbling with his nades. The space is still theirs, though. It's such a tough nut to crack, and the angles are perfect. Does get the trade. Device just on the tail end of Linus. More towards that bank position. The bullets are good. Pesadeo kept honest. Oh. And it's all on to Maluki, just, just like that. It's Drop not planning hat. for him. It's not planning. Oh, it's not. It's kind of dice box side. They have to get across, though. And the first is oh. hit. Plopsky strafes out. And NIP will retake. Right now, NIP can go for this four-man lean again, but they have to stand strong. Oh, and they do. Linus, the youngster, the rookie, lighting them up. Three dead. Fourth man falls. The fifth, Maluki, last alive again. Yeah, we're ready for your B hits now. And you won't be anytime soon. <laughs> Locked out. All right, we'll be again. I guess, yeah. Quick extinguish, and or it looks like Linus is carried on where he left off. Device with a sweep here of short. They're going for the boost. They could be catching at least this one here. This is yeah. quick. They've got it very quick. Now, the NIP setup isn't vulnerable yet, but it won't take long He's until down. there's a shot. And he takes it just a little early, Plopsky. Oh, a miss. miss from Device has enabled an equalizer. 26 for Malbs now. Brutal. Don't hate it, though. It's going to catch Rez by surprise. He's going to dump his smoke and try and catch one before they collapse. They're into the site now, and Rez is fully committed. Just the util from oh, his teammates. Oh. Malbs with more. Basically... He's representing an entire nation. How many other Guatemalan Counter-Strike players can you say that you know? 
Ooh, only ready here. That's going to be close monster. You They're see the indecision. In. Yeah, Linus is, is stuck between a rock and a hard place. He doesn't know where his bullets are needed. This is great. Hoping to cause the chaos that this boost would be rewarded. Linus smokes himself out of trouble. He would have been got oh, down to the boost and wide open. Looks like even trade. Still the ninjas on the site. This boost is still in play. They're still hunting for it. Still waiting and nothing's going to be given just yet. The smokes will fade. They're happy to pause. Oh, a slip. Now Maluki's going to have to do a lot more, and Linus's patience has been rewarded on the barrel's position. We need that trade out of PRT. He's caught Plopski. Burn out of position. Linus good for another. He's kept it level. One into the site. It's Rez who refuses to buckle and give them the space device. Another, and there you have 11. Unfortunately, they're back down to the pistols, but they're fast through connector and device. He's in no man's land. Device should be down. Oh, baby. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Somebody finish off this man. And now they can overwhelm. Oh, oh. Ray is good for in quick succession. That could have gotten so out of control. I thought that was going to be an AK and an AWP in Team One's hands. Malv's surely going to be doing a, a Diligent clear, device bodyguarding nicely, and Rez is whirling around. He's gone uncleared, Rez down. That's a big one from Pesadeo. Flash from Hampus. Oh, and PRT doesn't finish his job. He's going to oh. take another device. A man possessed with three. Use their bullets. Oh, he jumped up. Yeah, a little bit of a walk up. That X and S just booked. Maluki crawling. Oh, no. oh, an adjustment to make 13 for NIP one. About to be bounced on fast up. They trundle. Pressure here. Yeah, let it be indeed. 14. Just a couple of frags away. Cover your eyes. It's a quick one. And so the opportunities for Team 1 will be determined in our next round of play. If they can crack this site, they're in. Yeah. Oh, well, Linus is eating the flash. That's a good opportunity. And XNS again. Good for the whole site. He takes three. XNS, the entry fragger, at their most dire moment, they've pulled it off. What a great couple of rounds from XNS on this T side. He gets another frag. That's twice. That is insane. The one individual. Look, the teammates are there. Their bodies are on the line, but he's the guy getting all those kills. And Device is down too. They've already slipped to the close left along. Oh. If Device isn't ready for this, this is the round. Yeah, it's about this clear. It's about this. Clear right here. Device knows this too. Oh, and he the deals with this. He's so aware. And already it stinks of overtime. Team one ripped out of their plans to walk up on that contact long. He this like... is oh, so he's had the scope. spicy. Yeah. Oh, that's the round. Just books them. See you later. I'll be taking you. What a threat. Hasn't need to use any of his nades. Just the AWP on his back. Now multiple targets to contend with. They flash. They take a glance. Nothing to report. Pushing in. And that's that. Overtime acquired. Now he's on his AWP and he'll be equipped with that for the full length of this. Hello, Hampus. That's aggressive. Yeah, I think Hampus may have had enough of this. Plus Just sitting hell. and waiting over towards B. He wants to take the fight immediately. He could get run down here. Oh, they catch him with his pants around his ankles. XNS was cycling through his nades. Devices Orp has also found Maluki as well, so... Good molly. Yeah, Team 1, they're just running out of players, running out of places. LNZ with oh. a real opportunity just in that blind spot. And does deliver another multi from him. He's happy in that little off angle. And oh dear, just as Malb's dispatched to try and hit the strafe and Rez is there in support. It's oh. falling apart here, Chad. Yeah, you hate to feel that the oxygen's leaving the room right now for Team 1, but... Flying through the sky now, Plopski turns. He's got full vision. The second is even better, and it only gets them the one PRT to come up clutch. He's up against Orb, so... Oh, the Molotov costs him his life. Up short, aggressive with the AWP, and Device is waiting. And Hampus has already caught one from the boosted position. Maluki slowly feeds himself into the jaws. It's still three players stand stoic. If they get one, Chad, their CT side was good. Yeah. I could see a flawless CT run. There's no way in. There's no way in. It's locked down. Malbs, Pasadeo. You got 40 seconds. You're not going to just jump through the flames, but... Their chances fading fast. More utility to be deployed by the CTs and... Oh, a miss from device gives them a little window that Linus slams shut. Sometimes you have to close a door to open a window. Ah, uh, dear. Maluki and Malves were brilliant on their CT aggressive maneuvers, and this time they've been 
humbled by a flash. Hampus working on a quick project here and does look like they've timed themselves nicely. What, just by existing? Just by being noisy about that push. That was an opportunity. Plopski, he'll take Ooh. it. Ooh. Okay, a slight advantage here. Oh, blind he's spot, he's blind kill. spot. Jump does get the info oh! and the shot. Maluki quick to the draw. A very uncomfortable duel for Malves. I can't believe he's gotten away with that. <laughs> Look how low they are, Chad. They could still go wrong. Nade on the wrong player as well. So they're conceding the site. Malbs will be coming behind them here with a flank. And nice. oh, that's beautiful. Res has already put bullets down range. One and no two already. 25 seconds, that low HP. Starting to look promising. Malbs on the flank. So the dice box will be his safe haven to plant. Clearing it as well. In the open, oh, another body now. drop. Team come 1, on you now. can't lose it like this. Please, Rez. Rez to throw the knockout blow. Oh, and there goes no, no, no. Deo, Rez. It is easy for him. It was a little bit of an uncharacteristic CT side, so to speak. They were just going constantly for aggression towards mid, really, A, with uh, whether it's Maluke on the AWP or Malbs with the rifle. He was absolutely insane in that first half. Sometimes they would even send three players and you know the reason why that's uncharacteristic or unconventional is because well if you just do a monster rush or a monster expo or any sort of a fast uh, b hit that's really hard for the cts to hold with just two players or even three sometimes right um and your rot rotation is also so far away if those two guys are playing far up so that's why teams have stopped doing it really that much in europe right because it's so easily punished and you're worried more about those early B aggressions, uh, monster expos, and so on. And maybe that's why NIP were caught a little bit uh, off guard and they couldn't get any momentum going really. Every time they would win around in that first half, uh, they would lose the following one. Uh, Team One just managed to get the reset every single time. Nuke um, was good for us, good CT side. In general, looking at the, the whole match, we didn't play good. I think that um, their CT sides were good because that they could play under individual skill, which is something I think they're very skilled, but um, they're very one-dimensional in, in their tactics and, and in general with the prep we did um, with our analyst and our coach, it, it was easier to shut it down on CT, uh, which is something that also carried on to overpass, right, where they had a lot of B hits, which were kind of telegraphed. Um, and, and yeah, I think like we got away with it today. I wouldn't say we played good. Um, pretty disappointed. I think everyone is in some way a little bit disappointed. Uh, with how we played, we want to be better than this. Um, so yeah, I would say that they are a really good team, but they just need to figure out how to mask their stuff better. And and yeah, they would probably have won at least the second map against us. You'd think, especially with how well they've played in their past two matches against NIP and against Gambit, obviously coming into this tournament, they've, they've brought their A game. And like I said yesterday in the Gambit game, I think Liquid can, can compete with anyone in the world when, they, when they're playing like this at the moment, as we saw with Gambit yesterday. Um, so, I mean, if that version of Liquid comes out, this could be a really quick match. But on the other hand, Entropic is one of these teams that we've seen kind of lingering around playing close games. We kind of had them peg as a little bit of a dark horse that might be able to cause some upsets over some of the teams that were favoriting to get out of the group. However, they did go 0-2 versus NIP. That was one of the matches that we kind of highlighted as, as, a, as a potential upset for them. Liquid as well, although perhaps not in this form that Liquid has brought in. Uh, Vertigo being picked up here right off the bat. Yeah, interesting as well, especially with Liquid's good showing against uh, yeah. on that map against Gambit. Probably a map where they put themselves in a great position to win and weren't able to close out. I think the most interesting part of this veto process is um, Entropic having Inferno as their typical ban. That's the map that Liquid has been picking in both their series so far into this group, so they're forced to go into an overpass pick. Um, Vertigo is going to be a, a, a really tough battle, I think, for Entropic. Uh, Liquid showed great things on it. Overpass is a, is a map that actually Entropic has a very good win rate. 20 maps in the last three months on it and an 80% win rate. Now, that is against lower competition, but they're going to be well-versed uh, on the map. And I would say, if I had to think, that's just a map that Liquid must feel comfortable on at the moment rather than looking too much into their opponent on it. Liquid, oh my god, look at the flank. <gasps> look at the timing. Forrest has only seen one man, but Entropic don't know sheer, uh, how, how many men are coming around that corner, coming in on the flank. Ali, she's faked it out. He's dropped and gone back up. So he's trying to stop the bottom alone in the site, and he's at least taken down Crad. The plant was allowed, though. He couldn't get in the way of that. Vaki and Elian holding on now. And Tropic are still all here. Liquid have grouped back up from that middle position. They're going to run in, chase down Nickelback, who will get a kill. Trying to double up, uh, hiding inside the smoke as well. And it's all getting a little bit weird. Forrester on the flank, 1v2. He's taking the first UE off the bomb. The kit in front of him. And Forrester's going to hit the headshot. 
Obviously, we were very impressed with what we had out of Liquid's Vertigo yeah. just the other night. So I think this is going to be a pretty cool benchmark for Entropic. See what they can muster. Ooh, there's the opener for Elise, but he's left out on an island here. The smoke from his teammate. I think it was Stewie dropping it to try and save him just a second too late. And if that doesn't pan out, then you can come in on these flanks. Now, being real, losing the A bomb site and having all three players wrapping around from behind, not really where you want to find yourself. No. Someone's definitely going to be watching this, and so that's why we see Naf. But it actually, oh, let's, let's not even run down here. Let's not even run down this street. I'm not going to. I'm impressed with that, right? So this should be, by comparison, easy, but that's uh, a dangerous trap to fall into. So he gets Molly. Oh, he just gets out in time. Naf with a spam kill to find Nickelback and Forrester yet to die is up at the tippity top of the ramp. Oh, Elise, they mollied him out. It was all to get Naf swinging and the attention drawn away. This Deagle is doing work on Nafly, and they've even got the boost of Grimothy. Oh, Grim Tails here. Oh, there's the tag, oh. but he can't quite finish the job. Lackey's going to start to move up short. They won't line up for him. Instead, that's a kill locked in, and the bomb now dropped. These saved weapons might do it all here for Team Liquid in round number three. No openers given up. Liquid playing very safe. Re-smoke at the short side. And they're trying to clear short, but they don't know it's oh. empty. Now, if that's a second spam kill in the round, third overall, Elian has got to go above it all. 1v4. And I just don't see it happening. I think it's important to note even guys like Fallen getting involved, right? It was him over towards short, helping uh, Grim out to secure that kill. I wonder if Liquid are ready. It's a pretty common play. We didn't see it in the Gambit game coming through until overtime. And he leisures. Immediately going to spray through. Probably couldn't see him. Or likely would have done a lot more damage than they will instead. Should be soon with all this utility coming in. Naf's nearby oh. to help Grim out. He's going to have to extinguish this molly. Try to fight through the smoke. It's not a good angle for Grim. And his time's limited. Naf does burn out Forrester. Oh my goodness. And Elise is in the bomb site, Making Ow. a bit of a play. Flash through by Stewie 2K, but unfortunately, still not enough to make a dent in this hold, in this post plant. Fallen is getting wrapped from middle, and Crad just taps him out. Forrester walking up the smoke with that flashbang on short. It won't do a thing to Elise, and Forrester seems to be aware. Timing could be the bane of his existence, though. Elise swings out, finds one. Elian with the trade, keeping things in a four on four. That up, firing off for the favor of Entropic, and Fallen's going to give it up. Molly coming down, fallen, hot water now, dead instantly, and the smoke comes in far too late. I'm still curious if Entropic are going to be ready for this double orb hold. Oh, well, now single orb hold. And now they do know about it. Maybe they don't even have to be ready. They've dealt with it in little parts. They've segmented their day. Compartmentalized, maybe. And so here's Naf trying to escape with the orb, but Crab does not want to let that happen. Right now, it's the weight off between Naf and Forrester. Naf eats a nade, or sorry, Crad, as you said. And Naf's going to go forward with it. Doesn't know the crowd went back to a ladder. Forrester walking into the stack. That's one hell of a setup there for Liquid. A little boost for a leech to find the Deeg. And that keeps things in a four on four. Another boost. Liquid just throwing everything they can. Oh, they had the drop down. Yeah, they're going to go back for it. Dangerous, but nothing to lose in a round like this. And they've just looked away. Oh, ah, mate, Blackie too sharp, and Elliot entering up through the ramp. Fallen's going to get sidelined by Nickelback over on short. Oh. And there's Elliot to close. We're getting a very good-looking Entropic yeah. right out of the gate. This is perhaps a little bit worrying for any Liquid fans right now. So, yeah, it's uh, he, he's warmed in, and now he's starting games the same way. Now he's starting looking fresh. So is Naf, though. Yeah, full retake setup. Now, the most important thing is Elian's going to be using all these little grimy angles to try and whittle away at the numbers before that bomb even goes down. Just, you you cannot give Elian a kill here. Whoa. And, well, there's the oh. swing. Stewie wrestles with that M4, does a lot of damage. Elian dead oh, after one. No now, Lackey playing around this smoke, oh. takes the head off the first man. They've got him boxed into a corner, ah. and they will spam him out through that smoke. Yes, something else as well that you see with Liquid a lot of this B-bomb site is more often Grim is very, very happy to just back up and play retake, especially if yeah. they've found an opener somewhere else on the map, right? He's not going to hang around. He's not going to keep fighting it. 
uh, often playing over towards, you know, Tetris kind of vibe. Ooh. But not Grim. You'll always see him back towards Jens, ready to rotate out at the drop of a hat These if flashes. needed. Yeah, they're pretty brutal, right? Grim, you know, the, being a B-side player just sucks. Really, on most maps. <laughs> Naf, gonna remove Forrester. And look at this flank that's coming in. Stewie 2K all the way through ramp. They've got two here. They've got Fallen over in the uh, construction as well, who can swing to help out. Nap is looking lethal right now. You don't want to disturb this sloth, mate. He's on to two. A lot more damage done, softening them up for Elise, who's looking to close just like he left. Oh. There's that late rap from Stewie2K. Yeah. It's very like heartwarming to see how it all goes down. It's very insightful as well. You get an idea for who the leaders are. Oh, Elise putting on a leaders. show. Here he is, one of them. Lackey trades that out. And so Liquid, this is, I, I don't know how you could lose this round. Smoke is down, only one though. Liquid are in a perfect position. The only problem is the lack of util on their front as well. They are going to have to win some gunfights, and that's when Entropic can catch you by surprise. Shui gives it up. Bomb Park comes in. It's a wider angle than default to avoid that utility and spam. And now, Forrester, he's got to fight for the site. They're all coming in together, and Fallen just takes him off from the boost. Lackey back at Sandbags. Kraz going to try and stop the cross. They peek Ooh. together. Both get a killer piece. Suddenly, you're in hot water again. Naf needs a hero play. He's on his own. What a recovery from Entropic. Two on one. Naf's hunting them down. He knows the positions, but he's been spotted out. Ah, Naf gets Weird. one, but it's all Kraz and Entropic. That's a sick little hold in the post plant. Four on two, as you say, Liquid, but never envisioning a world where that gets out of hand and it's just perfect peaks like perfect double facing out of those two ramp players yeah, never that's... letting a kill go unchecked that's when you'd really love util for not only flashing off those ramp players but also dropping like the crane smoke that we see teams use a lot to retake or, or, or variations of it just ones at the top of the ramp right just to cause that fear of uh oh uh, i've heard the tap are they on the bomb are they sticking it is it a fake you never know and you've always got to fire Tropic are walking up through B. Only Nap here close. They're going to volley deep, so he doesn't have the element of surprise. They do check it, though, with the flashbang. Easy round here for Entropic. Just got to tie it up. There's Crad with the late mid pinch. I love how this guy's playing middle. I love how this guy's playing middle, right? And Crad does this every single round. And eventually, the mid player has to discount it, especially if yeah. your team are uh, whittling down things on the other side. Right there, that's a pug mid play. You flash yourself in, and there's a double setup. Liquid, they are ready, they are aware of it. Sometimes you want to try and stop it. Now they've got to stop the B play as well. A liege dropping a smoke, but Molly now just lives as he gets around the corner. They're hunting kills, and Forrester finds another. There's no way. And Tropic keep digging themselves out of this hole. None down either. Elise trying to distract, trying to cause problems. Both players low, falling, fights one. There's the trade though, and Forrester falls off the top. Oh. He's got the bomb in his favor. Forrester trying to make this clutch happen. Both players so low, and Forrester just waiting, knowing that Elise oh, is the man feeling it. the pressure. Forrester. Even though the kills come in for Elise, it's a round one for Entropic, up to eight. Here Team we go, player. here we go. The Nickelback Bison, baby. He's coming through. Come on now. You can't be called Nickelback and use a Bison and get Team Flash to open up the round. That is just against the rules. There's no question about it. Flash has fallen short. Leech gets the dig off. Here we Nickelback go. going to hunt him down. Bison more than enough ammo, but immediately oh. trades out. It's a sad state of affairs. So he's still got the AWP. He's tagged up from the Molly earlier. He's going to try and find Elliot and succeed in doing so. Another gun dropped as Entropic run back to B, and this is being calmed by Grim. Yeah, Grim hears it. Oh. Behind the plywood, they're giving it a spam, and so they kind of discount the position on the run up. They know that Grimothy's here, but dealing oh. with Grimothy is an entirely different matter. Crad back on his late mid lurk. He does get out and drop the AWP. So, you know, suddenly, where well, you had kind of a 1v2 because the info has been gained, it's all three here now. Oh, okay, Crad okay. with the first. They should oh be able God. to trade this out, and Fallen will make it happen. Just waiting for something to come his way. Util's always been the bane of Stewie's existence in this position. Oh, he hit that. Nickelback up close. Oh, the dink headshot coming in for Nickelback. Fully blind as well. He's going to have to give that gun over. Oh, I'll ah, have it. Bro, you got tagged. I'll take it. Okay, it's fine. Nickelback throws himself in. Ooh, and it was all with a goal of 
having this get traded, but Grim from this position, Grim holding CT, and they know all about crowded middle. You look at the map, you see, oh, it's Crad still alive. I wonder where he is. Smoke is in the way, though. Don't want to get one way through it. Grim even takes stairs. We've barely seen this control for Liquid. Silent drop, and they have no idea. Freebie for Grim. Trying to get out now, trying to escape, and it won't be as easily on the way out. Nickelback punishes that. And is his mid player going to go how mine often do? Getting orped by someone. Yep, there it is. Right on cue. Crowd on the receiving end of that fallen AWP. You've never been used to seeing anyone more than that guy with glasses slouched on the ground right there in middle. But Fallen is still ready. However, they are hunting him down all across the board. They're oh. in your spawn, mate. Fallen meets him there. All right, boys. Fallen going in close. Quick shot. And then they run into Nap, who helps out with another. Aegis even still here, looking right. to put a stop to middle. Elian's got a Nova for crying out loud. What is going on? It's a bit of a joke. He's going to swap it out as soon as he finds a rifle. That's where you're wrong, baby. Look at this. Elian, big Nova. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Elian through the wall. <laughs> and that's the 7 8 half for Liquid with the T side now moving up through the ramp. A lot of aggression out of these boys early on. Elian over here at short is already bid farewell to in Stewie. Oh, yes, baby. Come on. Three kills and maybe a little bit no. more. At least steals that one away because, of course, he couldn't go around without getting something. And now it's just lucky like left in the blink of an eye. This is a very, very good start out of Liquid. Five alive in the pistol. Tempting fate here, but I should be fine. Should be fine. Grim. Oh, oh. Okay. Through the yellow. Bye bye. Back at the B site. Oh, they are checking Lackey. Oh, he gets turned on by a liege. 180. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep firing through smokes. Eventually something will hit. And it won't be the good kind of medicine, the one that you you know chug down like a cowpole. That used to be so good. Instead, no, it's something gross. Doesn't matter. Ooh. It's gross. Nickel back. How would he do that? Like, how would he offer it? He'd say, look at this photograph. Wow, look, man. man. Look at this. Impressive. Here he is. Snapshot time, baby. Oh, oh that's Elliot. going in my cringe collection. Naf moving in. Oh. And now just Crad left to beat, but he's already oh. at ramp with the jump scare. <laughs> Naf is going to be able to get the bomb down. Oh, my God. Surely he can't win this. Surely he's so no. low. And finally, Crad will put the bullet, the round, through the head of Nafly to close it out. Oh, watch out. They're jumping up on the short side. And he knows he can be peaked from the top of yellow. So gets out for now and gets a re peek from Crad to help out. Two players fighting a liege there. No way out. Naf, he's back from middle. Oh, but he's not back for long. Spammed. And they run into the spray. Grim dead. Everyone dead here for Liquid. In Tropic, a flawless round so far. Yeah, and even though, well, I was going to say, even though Stewie's been good, he ain't winning this one. Yeah, they've been in control of this game since the get-go, right? Even when Liquid pulled that little comeback at the end of the CT side, it's still in Tropic, you know, writing the script, running the board, and, you know, as soon as you think that's suddenly going to change as we swap halves, and Tropic make you doubt that fact. Forced by, and no way in here for Liquid. Just running the blocks into Lackey. He's having also a great game. Easy stuff. Couple of kills. Pistol out. They're trying to knife him. I respect the attempt. He's very low. Feel what victory tastes like once more. Forrest is volleyed in. He's got to commit. And he's flashed as well. Good util combo for Liquid. But Crad is also here. Oh, peeking ahead of the flash, but doomed by the hands of Fallen, who's already up through the ramp now. The bomb plus denied oh, by a molly. Yeah. This is going to cost you a lot of time. Oh. Fallen running into the flames, getting it in oh. with seconds to spare, and now left in a 1v1. Naf did an incredible job of getting it to this point in the first place. Fallen, can he finish wow. the job? He can. Everyone else at Liquid up at B with a, more of these... Daring executes Lackey, they've got to clear him, jumping around the corner, Lackey's got one, can't double up, Stewie, 2k in the name, 2k in the game, he's got the entries, Naf can now activate on mid, and he's starting to move in to check the flank, he's essentially out of position right now, 
But this I leaves a go. temporary three on three in the site. And Naf is a long way away. Oh. With Grim and Stewie both wow. removing players. Elian's Naf dead. had full faith this whole time. And look at this sleepy little sloth man. Any Naffers look at this. Elian isn't a Naffer right now because he's dead to him. Oh, beautiful when it all comes together. It's worthwhile, even if it is dangerous. And now he's activating in middle yet again taking down Lackey to start the round. This is Liquid once again, looking to equalize, and there's not much in the way of that. Just pistols, they're holding the boost. Oh, oh. did Leech see something? Yes, he did. Yoink. Oh, there's one out of these deagles, oh, but that's okay. basically the end of it. And just nickel back left. Now, is this just a one-hit wonder of a round? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, that's Yoink. free. That's not so free. Fallen, trading. It's Stewie Smoke as well. You know, you throw it knowing a Molotov is likely going to hit the ground there anyway, so it scares out those CTs of taking the stairs control. It hasn't scared Lackey. Crad, neither. He's fighting for ramp, and it was all an inevitability. Fallen picks him off. Shui lurking at B, dead to Lackey. And there's still two CTs here. They're going to have to run that rotate off of middle. Mid open, but no one to take the space. Naf is back to B. Oh, oh he didn't uh, see him. What? Um, he looked right at him. Lackey's vision is based on movement. He's part reptilian confirmed. You've heard it here first. Oh, my God. Maybe the flash just enough to blind him. Oh, and now they're so scared of B, and they have no reason to be as well. Still playing doubled up there. Forrester flashes his teammate now, has to rotate. The spray is all right, but it's not going to stop anything. Okay, Elise getting tagged up through smoke. He's going to climb up and over, and Elian's so ready for the angle. And, and Tropic have got to go. Yeah, Fallen, don't miss those, though. Tap on the bomb, hasn't even baited a peek. They've just looked, they've just seen that no one is on it. It's really going to come back to haunt you. At this point, the orb's already out of position. Forrester's close, and there's a player right below you, Grim. Ah, no one realizing. He's next to Nickelback. He's above him. He's taking the kill, and Nickelback moves him forward. He wants more than one. He wants it all. Fallen gone. Wondering where that silence is shot from, and Grim catches him jumping. It's all fallen apart now. Krad's the last to fall to the mid player. Who are they, and why are they saying it? Smoke down ramp. <laughs> And a bit of damage exchanged over in middle. Okay. That's really one of the first early fights you've had, and it was Nickelback's orb, you know, not able to uh, to deal with Nafly in middle. You would have loved that advantage. Now, Krad didn't mean to... Oh, he's oh. going in! Oh, my God! So blind. I don't even know how anyone sees him there. Grim's flash when he gets the kill. Krad did the full util set, right? He smokes off the, the, the walkway. He mollies the corner. He nades for extra damage, causing so much commotion. And he's grouping back at B with Stewie. Grim's trying to sell this one on A, but not for long. Forrest has found him. Really out of position in so many of these rounds. Finally, Elliot, right place, right time. Oh! oh Fall is too fast. God. It's like a Beyblade, man. Yeah, dude, no, that is unreal. Fall is cracked. He's jacked. And... No! Oh! He wants this A site back. Here he is, taking a peek up through ramp, and Stewie draws the attention away of Forrester. No. Nickelback, come on now. Come on now. He's joined by Lackey. They're going to go for a smoke push by the looks of things. Whoa. Faints a shot out of Fallen, but Nafly donning the AWP as well is a nasty surprise over at short. Nickelback, Fallen's not the guy you want to face. This dude is fast. This guy is scary. Then again, it's Naf on the other side. Talk about Ooh. a rock and a hard place. There's the first. Smoke on the bomb, but with no yeah. kit, no chances. Oh. Fallen dead through the smoke as well. Suddenly, Nickelback's like, wait, I could win, lol. Runs back onto it, but there just isn't time. Stewie2k wins oh, it man, by falling off it. at ramp. Oh, I mean, yeah, Stewie went back, so I guess he couldn't have stuck it, but... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. you got to look for the positivity. Oh. Whatever you can, Elian decides enough is enough. I am tired of them fighting me on their terms. I'm going to throw some wild shit their way. Drops down the ramp, opens up... With the kill now it is promptly put back into a four on four courtesy of naf on these mid lugs now up on the boost elian's taking another aggressive angle now if there's a so oh my oh god no. they're gonna face this they're gonna face the orb fallen he oh. loves that you're fighting him he loves that you're feeding him these Let's kills 
Liquid is at home. Instead, you're just feeding the beast. The crab blind. The flash again favors Liquid. Stewie could even walk into B and tell his team to rotate out. They've now seen York. That's even more reason to believe as Stewie takes the site for free. Lackey, the life of a B anchor, moving back in as it's already fallen to the enemy. Molly, he's got to go. Ah, skin getting shedded right now. It's only Elian. 1v3. Chad, Sponge, A, Birchall, and Trace, Stunner, Saranthus, yeah. the movie frag. Yeah, That's what Elise is right now, you know? he's. It's not about how many kills you get, it's about how cool you make them look. Okay. Fallen, looking for that opener, and he's not going to get it yet. Again, the triple A is just not, you know, Liquid could not get into A yesterday. This is a very Ooh, different place for Liquid. But finally, Elise dead again first. And, oh, no, this one might actually matter. Elian's taking down Grim and Mip with the orb. Elian's just really doing his best to try and find impact. Yeah, he, he's, like you say, like his whole his whole game so far has been, OK, guys, I'll play A, R, they go B. All right, guys, I'll peak mid. Oh, they're not mid, they're A. <laughs> Feeling like for eight oh. rounds, you didn't even get to play the damn game. Ooh. This round looks to belong to Entrop. Pick, uh -oh. Unless Nafly could somehow fly across the map, get the bomb in 45 seconds to 1v5 ace. But, you know, if he walks here and he even gets any of these kills, it means he basically doesn't have time to win the round. Naf knows that. He's on damage duty. Orb tags him, Naf. So finally on the board with four alive, with the double orb. Will that inspire a bit of hope to get you into overtime? Gonna use that to try and get his team up this ramp and into the B side. Now, will this be a full commitment? Is this just a follow through? It looks like it. Up they come. Lackey a double. Oh. And they're gonna clear him out. Grim with the opener. There's Nickelback trading. Stewie is far deeper than they might be ready for. Oh no. They haven't, they haven't seen anyone else cross into the site. And so that kill is free for Stewie 2K. That's, That's the, the bomb. Oh no. Krabs flank. Disrupts Nafly. He can't wow. hold on. Elise. Big kill and a big way to break his silence. Forrester, last guy oh, he's left. Leaving. He's leaving <laughs> and Stewie's going to shoot him in the back. 16 to 13, Team Liquid. They open up this series, securing the map pick of Entropic. And now they're eyeing up a potential 2 0. Actually, I, I, was, I was a little bit worried there for him for a second just because Entropic got out to a really good start on their T side. At one time, they were up 8 to 3, and it seemed like they might be able to put a few more on the board in that first half. And um, good resilience from, from Liquid to be able to come back into it. It. And then the only real hiccup Liquid had, uh, Liquid had on their on their T side is losing the second round and the ensuing pair of rounds after that. And then it was all them from there on out. They, they played a fantastic T side. And you got to give props to NAF this game, who's had quietly had a very good start to ESL Pro League, just overshadowed by the fact that Elise has had such a blistering start, that Fallen's had some games. Those guys are naturally going to take a lot of attention away from you. Right. Um, but NAF has just been Mr. Consistent for Team Liquid. And I mean, that's the role he's kind of designed to play for this team. Uh, uh, and, and in this game, certainly he delivered above and beyond. They don't have a flash to get them there. That's what you would love over this angle. Elliot instead, open line of sight, takes a tag, crab with a headshot, and Stewie trades as Liquid head on into this A site, or at least they should. Smokes over the top, no control elsewhere, so they will commit. Nickelback about to get all that info. Can he take any with him? Oh, it's not pretty. They're running him down. Elliot's low force has found one. The B plays activated, but it won't matter. This hold is lights out for Entropic. Finally, the flank, you start to consider it as Liquid double back into Lackey. Yeah, with him waiting over here in Khan, he needs to stay alive, and he'll do more than that. It's a double kill. Pistol round locked in for Entropic right away. And, and where they want to lean. And so I'm interested, like you are, to see if they can take down a very experienced, very capable overpass team. Yeah, while this eco, um, Elliot doesn't have head armor, which, you know, a little risky when you're only up against the Glocks. That's now an M4 retrievable. Lackey also doesn't have head armor. Now, it shouldn't ever really come back to punish you in any meaningful way. What did you want to talk about, Jeremy? I was going to say, yeah, just to run us down, you know, the maps that have been played here for this set. Right, so whenever they've tried it versus maybe higher tier opposition, it's not really gone their way. Continue to do so. Nickelback pushed up in front of the smoke. Oh, Ford is going to meet him there, but the MP9 won't shoot through him. Not enough. It's up to Elliot to trade. That's fine for Entropic. Unless they just go back down to B. If they do so, though. Oh, that's finally the flash does come through. That's just going to get Elliot off the angle at the right time. Entropic start to rotate up to A, and that's when Liquid are regrouping back at Monster with the bomb. 
Loki about to take this peak dead at the hands of Stewie2k. Now rotations are being called for. Otherwise, if no one goes up, if Elish doesn't leave Khan or only shows one man, maybe Elian wins a fight, maybe he stays on the angle, maybe he never calls for a rotate, but saves him that cash for the AWP. Could be a reason he uses it. Oh, Forrester found one outside of B and Crad. He might have been spotted there on that jiggle with a deep player. Grim's ready for the fight, I presume so, four on four. Still another man, Top Cod, running away. It's Elian getting back to the bomb site. Boost up on B at a good time. Yeah, Leash not ready for it. And down here alone, you know, while you had Grim and Khan, it's not really a position you could have hoped to have traded that from. Are they going to throw the boost up again? <sighs> well, this time Fallen's waiting for yeah. it. And so he'll get rewarded that three on three. No when to quit. They're still scared of Monster as a potential. Elian's saying, guys, I've seen nothing up on this A-side. You don't need to worry yet. Actually, I take that all back. They're coming. Help. Quick. Run. Flash out. Elian. They're already running up on him. And that really could be the round decided on the back of this A-bomb site anchor falling. Oh, Ooh. well, now you're enticed back in. Nickelback with the opener. Fallen left fighting for his life out oh. in the open, but he'll hold on. And now they're just going to play it together in the bomb site. They're looking for trades. Damage done. Oh, yeah. And there's Naf to close. It's a damn good try out of Nickelback. They start to feel a little bit more feisty, setting fast towards B. Yeah, this... Ooh. is a pretty done deal, you would imagine, right? Even with that USP kill coming in. Double dinked. Alien up in heaven with the scout. They know he's here. It's no secret. It's only a scout. See what you can do. The answer is nothing as Elise chases him down. Ready to surprise them. Liquid come out from Connector, though, at the same time. Oh, this info comes through. And more than info, it's an entry for a liege. Now you know the orb is either long or it's backed up to the bomb site, and it's the latter. Elian going to go above the smoke, looking for this pick. And, oh, very close. Only hits the tag, though. Yeah, Nickelback is looking for this fight in Con. He's going to win it out, and now he tries to escape through short. Stewie, he didn't like getting knifed. He might have woke a sleeping beast here. He's between two players. Now, whose favor is... Oh, oh Elliot's running with his back, back turn. Elliot, the one time! Oh, my... Stewie's gone past him, and oh, no. Oh, why would you knife this guy? Why would you knife this guy? Stewie, in one hell of a position. He could win the whole round right now. They will not know how he made it to heaven. Oh, no, the Tarik humanity. Who? Stewie with the <laughs> double. And Elian, he's getting yelled at in all kinds of words right now. How has this happened? They're wondering. You know, it would have been easy to call the rotate back up to A, but Stewie goes, nah, man, I'm just going to take the round. I'm going to kill everyone on that lower side, trying to get the orb shot out. And he does, but it will hit him. That's one way to respond after an eco win comes out for Entropic. And look at these timings. Stewie, he didn't even know he got past Elian as well. Quick realization. Grim's getting whittled down through the spam spot in Con, and there's Elian to close the deal. <sighs> There he is, oh, dealing with Stewie. Blackie's second AWP chimes in with one, and even though Fallen trades it, he's tagged in the process. And Tropic still have to finish the job they started. Crad waiting, and yeah, he's got the drop on a lead. No one building any money, everyone on the edge of disaster. He smokes Khan. Like we're going to go monster. They haven't done this before. Five through, everyone running into this B bomb site. It's a quick call for a drop. They hear the steps coming their way. Lackey's off again, pounces, but double entries in response. Three on three, it's up in the air. Crad catching Nap flying through the sky, and the orb is still finding kills. Fallen gone leaves Grim alone. Elian cannot afford to lose this fight because suddenly a world of opportunity oh. opens up, and so he he won't. Flanks through the short tunnel. And this time, no respect on that Molotov. No smoke to put it out. Liquid just run right through. Elige eats grenades for dinner. And the orb shot, well, that's just his dessert. Should be a freebie now. Just blocks and a deagle left up. And Elian's having a field day. When you don't flash him off these angles, when you don't hit these backstab timings, straight up fights. Elian wins them all. Three in the round and just enough left. 
Any Glock fans? No such thing, though. And so it's a nice, easy round for Entropic to take the lead right back. And then Entropic were able to close it out 16-14. Well, here, you know, he's arriving from the get-go. Is that going to cause problems for Team Liquid? At Liege, trying to steal Con away from Krad. Krad's been a real nuisance over here towards this mid area, so finally you forced a bit of respect out of him. Over the ward short, you're concerned as to how much they've taken. Counter flash play to push back in. Stewie burning in the Molotov, but still good for the opener. Repeat from Lackey in the bomb site, and now there's this Krad crunch wrap supreme coming in through <laughs> connector he's bearing down on them falling Ooh. there's one still an orb to beat waiting in pit and forrester wraps around to remove ball and they never saw nap but lackey holds the line drops that divider smoke gives him a little bit more room to work with and hopefully slows this toilet push from team liquid again do more than just Smoke him off. He's going to flat out smoke him. Oh, my okay. God. One way to do it. Flick through the smoke. He takes out the bottom of the boost. And it's only Stewie left in a one on five. It's another one of these anti ecos looking to be kept exceptionally clean. Uh -oh. Stewie could disrupt that. But with these follow up shots missing, I think he's dead next repeat. Oh, yeah. It's not a good time to be Stewie 2K. Everyone's bearing down upon you. They also have water info as well. Lackey second orb is taking that. Elian's waiting for a jump. Are they going to give it to him? Barrel. Oh, boost up. And he's ready for it. Wow, he does not fall for that. He's wondering, why is the barrel just there? That's because they're getting on Fallen's head and Elian is getting ahead of the action. Flash up Crad. He doesn't check Fallen, who's up close. But Elian does, trading that kill. Crad dies a hero and Elian doesn't die at all. He gets out of dodge and he can retreat to the A site. Stewie donning the fall in AWP, tries to hold for the orb crossing back, and he will deal with Elian. Better late than never. It's going to leave Nickel back alone in this uh, A bomb site behind the dice box now. Oh. Sees the orb back in toilet. First tries to deal with Grim. He gets the dink, but not the kill. Nade will finish the job. Stewie's got to come in clutch. He's all alone. AWP. Pushing his way back, but not ready for the Kong wrap. It's Lackey shutting him down. No one's really stepped up. No one's really saved the day here for Liquid. That's uh, somewhat of a worry on the T side. They get Elian off the angle for a moment. He smokes the molly. He even flashes Crad right in. Oh, ho, ho. oh yeah, Elian, you might not get out of this one alive, but nope. he tries to cross back. And it is just a brute force from Team Liquid out through middle. Was that all that was needed to break apart this double hold? You tried to beat them in the mind games, you couldn't do it. But in just the sheer showing of strength, you locked this in. This time, Elise was waiting for the wraparound, so Lackey doesn't get away with a thing. Stewie oh. is dead in the smoke. And oh my god, this was a two on five. Liquid maybe got a bit ahead of themselves trying to take these fights before the fat lady was singing. Naf with one, trying to save the day. Nickelback in this clutch, oh. and Naf will not let it happen. The orb rains out for a double, and there it is at nine six half. Even though they've taken short, they've traded places is with Entropic conceding the bomb site. Naf will trade GK. one back. Stewie throwing up on the sandbags. Tries to spam out this bomb oh. plot. Now he can't deny it. Into oh my god, Lackey's wanted to go through. Lackey playing around the smoke. But Grim's the guy dishing out fire. Can't have one without the other. Elian, oh, tapping away. Oh, There's goodness. one, but can't get away with more. And the cleanup crew is in. Team Liquid, they do a very good job of recovering that. They could go for the double boost to check out monster info. This is so big. You rarely see it. It's a big risk and with better rewards. Stewie takes first. There's many more where that came from, but that's one way of getting an untradeable kill. Pushed all the way up through middle. You could even now start to see this very early rotation out of Fallen. Oh. Stewie blind. That's Elian's flash securing the opener. Oh, okay. Nat fly won't let them in, however. Elysia's flank was being held by Nickelback. Fallen out through heaven, not looking at Monster. Wasn't ready for Elian to just run him down like that. And so that was a very back and forth round. Very, very flip floppy. Brad holding Con for a late rotate, but they're just going to go. If they move, Grim mollied out of position. Uh, the entries are both there. Easy peasy. That's the round. 
Oh, brutal. This first rifle round for... Uh... I'm sorry, this return to rifles for Liquid matters a hell of a lot now because, like, they're in this very, very vulnerable position. There is a clear path to victory for Entropic right now. Liquid very much on the back foot and they can feel it. Oh. No need to get worried yet. It's all under control. It's just one kill after all. 12 to 7. And yeah, Liquid are running out of time. They're running out of rounds. And Mirage is waiting in the wings to be played. Also, T-Side might not have head armor, you know, on over on the uh, side of Team Liquid. So you're still feeling that one shot. Oh, no one has it right now. Nickelback at a run down a liege over here okay. in Con. Now there's Naf with a response. I love one the way. sheer size of that kill feed there. They've walked past Fallen. Talk about Elian getting timed on. This is even worse. Nickelback is in the bomb site and Fallen's dead. Now they know A is open and the rotates aren't there in time. This is a problem that Entropic had sometimes on that CT side. Liquid have got it far worse. They have no clue. Nickelback's already on truck. Now they've got to be prepared for everything with volleys and smokes cutting off the vision. But Nickelback is still a surprise. The spam does a bit that you want an orb to really take the plot off. Stewie running in. Grim helped on the second. And now it is just Lackey locked in close yeah he's gonna have to fight for this one. Oh, taking a swing first man down there on the bomb it's not a tap at all they oh. will come back out to try and deal with him but naf doesn't need your help grim it's na's hope after all oh that's one way to find a bit of free damage grim spam down to four and there's no orb to even hand him either you know, Entropic are going to try and clear site, clear CT. They've really got to worry about short. That's where the bulk of the play comes in, especially if Fallen and Co. win these fights on short. He's going to try and flash Naf in. This is perfect for Liquid. Entropic are running into a crossfire, a meat grinder, spearheaded by Naf. Yeah, and he's been so good at getting these mow downs. There's the first. Now they see Elian's orb. But Liquid will taper off, and Elian will get away with this AWP. Ali is trading Util down here in Con. A Molly for a Molly, an eye for an eye. Fallen, playing anti-flash, dodges oh. it, and there it is. Perfect re-peek onto Nickelback. He read that situation well. He knew it was coming his way. Liquid continue to triple stack the A site. Tropic walking in to the Barbarians, and there's Fallen finding another shot. Two fire, two hit, Elian, same story. He's taking his first fall. He's now getting hunt, uh, hunted down, hounded down, and Forrest has finished the job with the flash from Elian. Three on three, flank activated, Naf waiting in the bomb site. Doesn't need to peek out into this orb. There's only 20 seconds, they've got to get closer. Grim's already here, fast rotate from him, and Elian walking back into the flank. He's a dead man, he just doesn't know it yet. It's perfect, misses that timing onto Stewie as well. And just slowing down in Tropic really does help bail them out, right? Naf is able to come up, joined by Grim. They're there ahead of time. And so, you know, we talked about how the script was about oh. to get flipped and... Oh, oh Lackey. Got trapped between two mollies. Yeah. <laughs> Nowhere to go. And he was blind. Probably didn't help his cause. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Grim. Oh, they still find wow. him. Good trade. They're so aware of it. Both players are watching the boost. And Elige might have the round in the palm of his hand. If only he knew that they're already up past him in toilets. Forrest are found coming up con and fallen backs up. He doesn't want to give Elian an AWP here. Oh, he might not have a choice, but does with the USP fight. And Elige comes in late. Fallen will concede. Nickel oh, back with a spam kill to open. Oh. Elish gets flashed through Con and tries to make a play, but all that's done is feed the beast that lurks outside of B. And Tropic, they've really all they've done is waited in this round so far, and they've reaped the reward of it. Naf is going to deny this boost with the Molly, and timed with the push. Nickelback spams Again. another. They keep lining up by the uh, the spam spot. That's how he found Stewie. Yeah, but if anyone has been good in these anchor scenarios, if anyone's been able to turn the tides, it's been Nafly. Catches the first on the cross. Now they know oh. about him. Double up for Naf. That's the bomb dropped. He doesn't need to fight Elian now. He can wait for Fallen to move in.
smoke down. Elian fakes the plant, hoping that gives him a fight, but it doesn't. What this has done is waste even more time off the clock, more time for Fallen and Naf to get set up. Elian, with this first bit of contact, is looking for the CT player. They know about him now. They know they've got him boxed in, and he's feeling uncomfortable. They're trying to just swing it together. Oh, and wow. there's Naf with the trade. Huge round out of Nafly. Take a bow as he gets that one over the line for Team Liquid to find a tie game after all. And they even broke the force or broke the pistol conversions with their force buy. Ever since that point, they've yet to get around. Five in a row for Liquid. It's felt pretty lost at 12-7, but Liquid have found themselves yet again. Now this time, Contact Monster play. These have been good for Entropic. They run right through. Grim Blinded gets out of dodge thanks to the flashbang. Forrester cannot see a thing to get that trade. Elian's Krieg will come in with a kill, and Naf is low as well. And taking the angle himself on the orb, fallen. Oh, that looked dead on. On plant coming in. Rotations all arriving. The Molly making these players in the site get uncomfortable while Fallen scratches one huh, from Grim. the tally. Grim with the turn will deal with Crad. And now he's up on barrels. Should get sidelined by Elian, but he's no. going to take one to the grave first. And Grim's not going down yet. Elian is out of there running for the hills all the way away. Team Liquid get 13 just by getting on the bomb. It all gets a bit weird, but... Yeah, maybe a miscom and Tropic's starting to get stressed. I can't blame them. They're running through smokes. Nickelback dead to Fallen's Orb. Finding more form by the round. A Legion connector. He's got a smoke player to worry about. Crad hiding inside. And two more on long. Moving up very quickly. Jump spots for Nap. Would love that information. And, oh, he's going to swing and hit. Taking down Elian. Looking for a little more. Sees the second player. And Nap, the spray is not there. 30 health lackey will stand tall, but there's still a man down. A liege going to get caught by Crad down in con. And suddenly that throws a bit of a question mark up in the air again, right? You no longer want to dedicate to these B rotations. You don't know. It. Oh, that's a footstep. Grim. He knows there's one man here at least. You cannot hold it forever. Oh God, They're going fallen. back up. Fallen, the round is now on his shoulders. There's the first kill. Forrester dead. The bomb dropped. And Fallen is locked in 14 for Team Liquid. Lackey is left saving that last second change of heart. The decision to leave the B site leaves them in the prying eyes of Fallen's AWP. This is Liquid, ready to go. Seven in a row and trying to take a 2-0. Fast into water for Entropic. Good grenade for Naf. Still leaning triple B. They go again for the boost, and Naf continues to cause problems. The Molotov oh! burns Zaki out again. That's not the first time we've seen him fall to fire. It's a done deal. Elite. This time he doesn't just see the rotate. He stops it as well. And now you know it's B. No question about it. They don't need to force any gunfights here. At the B site, it's a three on three. Even odds. Best, oh sorry, worst case scenario, and Naf has now extended that even further. Oh. Nickel back with the tap. But there's still so many players left to find. Elise is rotated down through Khan Fallen's here up in heaven. There's 25 seconds. Everything is against you. The manpower, the time. You're lacking all of it. Nickel back dead. Wow. And there's the close. Oh, 15 now on the board for Team Liquid. And now just one more easy, right? What could go wrong? Back to Monster through the smoke. Grim dodges a flash, but it comes in late anyway. They just dry run through Monster, and they've got the opener for a change. Oh, Nafly though, always good here. Stewie's gonna help out from short. And now there's this rotation Boost. of Elise yeah. boosting up again. It was enough last time, might not even be needed here with Naf popping off. Elise ready to catch the cross, and this should be the beginning of the end. Elian dead on the swing. Elise closes it out, and it's a Team Liquid 2-0, baby! It didn't look like Liquid from the prior days. They didn't look as strong as we've seen previously. No, it certainly wasn't as dominant, but, but that's okay. You know, I mean, as long as you're getting the win at this point, it's that's just, true. I mean, goal number one is get out of the group stage. From there, you want to crank it up and make sure you're coming in consistent once you get to the playoffs. But they've had kind of their their, their bigger test that they're going to have in this group. They've beaten NIP 2-0 dominant fashion. They had a very close game against the world number two in Gambit. Now they have a solid victory over Entropic, and then things should, in theory, get easier for them to close out the group. It was a. It was. It became a very difficult match. Uh, we won couple. We lost couple situations, mainly on very. That we it was looking good. For example, the A retakeage we were doing. Uh, I think we we're up four v two 
and we lost the situation and broke our economy. So it had to be a grind back uh, on the city half on Virgo. I think the same can be said about the T-Half as well. Uh, it took us some time to really adjust our, our gameplay to what we are seeing from their game. But I'm glad that we that we won it. It's very important win for this group stage. I mean, losing this match would be very dangerous for the qualification through the group. Uh, we're not qualified yet. We still have to play all the Brazilian teams. But it's looking good so far. Should be easy though, right, Fallen? Those Brazilian teams, you got them. No big deal. I can't say that. You know that, Moses. You have been <laughs> here. But, you know, I mean, you never know. Though. Living in a tropic game, you can easily say that this match was closer than an IP game, for example. You know, it, it, it's really up yeah, yeah. to which styles of game is going to be presented. It's up to which um, which level of play we're going to be able to show as well. I think today we dropped the ball a little bit. And as I heard Moses saying, it's just fine as long as we get the win. Uh, but there's definitely some things for us to work. And we're going to be looking for the next games because they are as important as everyone so far we have played. Some of the places Fira might want to take it, Inferno's a pretty low win rate, although you know they're going to be competent on the map no matter what, just by virtue of how often it's played. Ancient hasn't been the greatest map for them. You could go there if you're feeling comfortable with that for Furia. Um, and it'll be interesting to see, okay, they're going to take it to Inferno, a map they're comfortable on, a map that uh, they like to play as well. So that's probably the best case scenario for a Furia team. Gambit starting CT side too, so you're going to hope that at least Furia comes out of the gate running, right? Vertigo second yep. map, and that's going to put uh, Furia on the CT side. So obviously, that's the hot to trot side, isn't it, Jason? Yeah, it really is. And I mean, even the Vertigo pick coming in from Gamba, you can see that close, close overtime win yesterday against Liquid hasn't dissuaded them at all from picking the map. I think they're on, what, a 15 or 16 map win streak on Vertigo at the moment. So, yeah, why not go back to it? You got the 100% win rate. Just lock in that first map right out of the gate and move on. Yes, Mirage is a decider. So I'm pretty sure we're ready to about get to get into the game. I know we got Harry and Hugo ready to go, and I don't think there's any more asterisks that we could paint on this one, Jason. I think it's just about clear cut, dry and simple, right out in front of us. Furia not playing at full strength. Gambit coming in here with something to prove and some vengeance to be had from you know, yeah. the previous uh, the previous engagements they had over in Cologne. It should be it should be said as well. Like one one person who doesn't get talked about super frequently on on the Gambit side, or you wouldn't expect him to be their top performing player. Hobbit's having an incredible incredible pro league and he's obviously been very valuable and very useful to this team throughout their incredible run this year um, but I think he's he's what he's like the sixth best player of pro league so far he's sat there with a 1.27 rating there's very few maps that I've seen in this group stage gambit play where I feel like Hobbit is missing sometimes I don't always notice he's getting up to like 25 26 27 kills Surprise. but he ain't missing so <laughs> Hobbit's gonna be around Hobbit's gonna be tough to handle yes too hot to handle that might be the case at least for Furia looking onward into gambit and what they're bringing into the server today Today, we're going to find out. It's the best of three. Let's do it, Jason. Give me a yeehaw or something. Yeehaw! Ugh. Gary looked pretty damn good, at least on the first map. We don't talk about Ancient. It's not in the veto. We don't need to worry about it. Axel jumping out of danger. Inter's about to get involved, and the flash over the top does cause problems. Axel trades. They know he's here. And Axel just doesn't give them the time of day. Lovely shots out of the USP. It's only Caserato. Talk about top rated players of the event. This guy has got to be on the tip of your tongue at second. Can he get any more done, though? Oh, pretty swift response on that from Hobbit. The answer being no. This Game's live. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And now, look, little opener from Napoli. Beautiful. He's mowing them down. He's making money, baby. Making it rain. There's the lineup. And there's Fury laid to rest. Gambit 2 0. If you were in the Pro League, do you think you would be the highest play highest rated player? Or would it, you know, I, I don't know, Hugo. I'd love to see what you could do. His Guare over towards the top of Banana, taking a little peeky weeky in. Hobbit on the other side. Yeah. Not a dude you want to run into. Okay, Serrata whittled down low. Oh. Dead early. There's the coach of Fury. Yep. Numbers dwindling. And time running out. Counter terrorists win. What's the plan there then? <laughs> What's the plan there? I don't know though? if there is a plan there, Harry. I think that's just for the fun in the games. Art's going to run the Deagle down Banana. Grenades have done a bit. Second will go too deep. They say you can't go too deep. I say talk to the Titanic. Okay, Serato looks for that B pick, trying to put one of these few rifles to use. But Nafani fights him back and still has four grenades to assault this banana position. They actually push through the molly. Great kill out of R, but Shiro trades again. And there's just no getting past Gambit right now. 3-0 with a man up. 
Oh, Venny, no, baby, no. The timing on the smoke walk. Oh, Axai, all tucked in. Oh, Winters what? hoping to get that trade, but Vinny with the power game and glove, baby, just too fast. Gary knows, and he's dead already. And he actually sees him as he crosses off the top of the logs. Case is still inside the smoke, knowing that fate may give him an advantage. Flash will help as well, but he blinds. Oh, everyone's blind. Hobbit somehow wins the fight. He's trapped out now. He needs some support. Two more teammates throwing utility as Hobbit throws Fury to the curb. Two kills as Shiro catches Vinny. Coming out, Boiler the Lurk is dead. The banana play, it never happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, like you say, like you just don't want to admit defeat, but now you really have to. Or everyone's hyping up art and saying, come on, buddy, we remember the art 1v5, we remember it. And that's how it all starts, is a little dream, a little meme, the little meme that could art trying to cross, and Hobbit says get lost, mate, spams him out. We're actually all on the same team. Yeah, true. Kesarato gets out middle. The orb may take the contact in turns, hopping and weaving, ducking and diving out of danger. Smoked out now. It's the orb to find the second shot to Vinny. Shiro's just about gets back to the bomb site. Inters is not letting him cross in. He still has that information. Dinked and he hangs around as Kesarato takes that kill for Furio. Now options open up. Yeah, Kesarato has been the guy like trying to keep Furia on the map in spite of the circumstances. But with him now knocked out, that AK has got to find success in the hands of someone else. The Bob cut loose by Nafani over here in CT, and he goes one step further. All right, then. We've heard about this Deagle. We've seen what the Deagle can do. What are we going to get out of him? Gary, all alone. 1v3. It was never going to be easy. Ready, but yeah. so is Ark. Good entry, trying to double up. Nafani at least gets traded after one. That's the B site falling. That's Gambit. Got to make that call. Do we stay or do we go? They're still very far down in the pit. Shiro's going to try and throw his orb into the action, but Gambit are not convinced. That round there, never really given a chance to play into it. You don't want to be taking too many liberties. I think everyone's got faith in their ability to just hold the site. This round, three players stacked up towards B early. Oh dear, Fury running out of time, running out of options. There's two mollies left to beat. They might just have to go. Yeah, they try to run through it, but the nades do great damage. You've already lost two on the entry. There's another Molotov yeah. to slow you down even further. You've had to run through smokes. Now you've got to run through mollies. There's another re-smoke in Fury. Just don't have the time. They don't have the uh, the ability to do anything here. They have been outplayed. Yeah. Beautiful from Gambit. <laughs> Orb fighter B, Shiro. Oh, he's got Art dead. And another reflash as well. Gary gets back at least, but Hobbit's going to try and molly him. They might push him forward, and exactly what Hobbit wanted. Freebie, five on three. Furious hand force yet again. And even if they go, Harry, they don't have the bomb. Yeah, even if they got in, right? That's the most sour part about this. Like, even if you find both these A kills, mate, you can't even win the round on the back of it. That's a big even. So they're just going to go back. If they try to go to Banana, well, guess who's here waiting? It's Hobbit <laughs> in his little Hobbit hole, oh. and he's letting them pass. Oh, all the Gandalf references, all the Lord of the Rings here. Hobbit, one ring to rule them all, one flank to lock in the round, and there it is. Gambit up on a seven. And Gambit running away again. Hero rifle. Scary peak to take case of Arto. It's often been Shiro on the angle. Instead, he gets the entry. You've got to go through now. You have to full send into B. Damage through the smoke. Molly softens him up. Case Arato is not standing tall right now. The nade is everything for Inter's double utility frag. And Art, oh, he falls to the strafe of Nafani. Still trying to soften up these T's, not let them get the bomb plant. And so Gambit had time to rotate to fight for the site. They've still got Axel in pit, but it doesn't matter. Bombs loose. Vinny, 1v2. And if they peek him, they just win. Now he's armed at least. Yeah, but they just killed Gary, man. And he's part of the Vinigueri duo. Vinny is out for revenge. And it's Nafani dead first. Shiro doesn't want to die here and give up a 1v1, but he might not have a choice. Vinny oh. out for blood. And yeah. there's all three. Furia, maybe some hope here. Will Gambit just be ready to swiftly take it away? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, and certainly not afraid to take liberties, are they?
Hobbit once again pushed all the way down Banana. And they can just leave him there now, right? They can free up Shiro, who's actually going to come back to deep smoke down Banana. Then I imagine he's getting out of there again and coming back towards this A-bomb site. That looks to be the case. Axal, they're already up short. He's got this crossfire with Nafani back in the site. A second man now emerges from Moto, and okay. Vinny will turn Fair. around and get him. That is a gnarly little flick. But is it going to be enough? Because you're losing players left and right. Oh, just can't get the scarf angles with the AWP. And you go back to being Hobbit, of course, is just running down Banana. 15 and 2, can't stop him. Hobbit the same. Sure is wrapped around the short side. They've smoked him, but oh, I've got a feeling he can fire right through it. Inters, they're up past the Molotov. They're very close. Flash is good, but he is blind, and so are they. Well, he's dead, rather. Decal for Vinny. Entries in. Axel needs a multi kill. He can't find it. Maybe you have forced to save the bombs back in T spawn. It makes Cabot double back to B, and that ensures the save at this point. Majority of these rounds in Fury you have can be directly attributed to the man in question, yeah. right? To Vinny. Three out of four, pretty much. You know, to, to even do anything <laughs> is, is monumental in and of itself. Vinny brushed aside right away. We have this double B setup. Naphne. Oh, Shiro's taken out again. He's just killed him every single time. It feels like Hobbit has room behind the Molotov. Nafani has to go forward, but there's still this double top B set up. And everyone's in the bomb site for Gambi. You're wondering, where are the kills? Why can't we get them? Hobbit might even find the bomb in his Hobbit hole. He loves his position. Will he see it? No, running right uh, by. It doesn't matter, though. Like, what are you even going to do here? Yeah, uh, die by the looks of things. And Dear. so there it is. They all get mopped up. They never had the bomb. Banana Control getting attempted here for Furia. That bomb, you'll know, back at T-Ramp. Now, will okay. Furia know that? Okay, oh, Serato nice. with the opener. That's Nafani dead. This now is going to get an early rotation out of Shiro. Hobbit cannot afford to go down here. This was how Furia found a round early on in the half, which is by getting these double B entries, and that's it. Victory was assured. They forced the rotation out of Gambit. And now they look to take top mid control away. Gambit are actually heavy rotating in towards B right now. Uh -oh. K Serato is grabbing the bomb, uh -oh. the million dollar pickup. And with Axile dead on A, this is a car, this is a path carved to a round. Yeah. Yeah, like, the only rounds Furia win are when they avoid the stack, get a double entry, and then force a save. So, you know, I think it is just having faith in the system. Why take the risk of losing any weapons when you've got, you know, the ability to turn it up next round anyway on the back of saving them? Looking oh. like they want to come through this. Gonna Go boost R through. over with the orb. Okay. He's looking yeah. for Shiro, and that is a lovely way to go oh. for this mid peak. Vinny runs another down, and suddenly this a bomb site. Oh lordy, it's looking tempting. Yes, indeed. Only Axel left up. Oh, he has taken a second now, trying to back up, buy more time. He's got a flash if he wants to pop it, and he shouts. Good one. Reload coming in. Hobbit setting him up with you two. Axel ready for the fight, and Hobbit's going to have to trade it. Oh, stuck in the smoke. That could have been two for Hobbit, but his vision eludes him, and now Nafani grabbing an AWP and trying it in the 1v2. you got to go for it. Finally, a round that Gambit can't and won't save in. Yeah, Art's got the AWP on the angle now. He is low and just nails the shot right away. So six to nine for Furia. That's pretty good, right? Let's see what their CT side can do versus the Gambit squad in the second half of play. We have Shiro on the PT-50, nothing new. Oh, Fury want to get involved, and Gary, uh, 1 and 30. Not sure I'm a fan of that one. Not really having a lights-out game. Vinny is, though. Dude, it's all about the Vinigueri duo. I tell, yeah. I, we, we talk about it. Dies for the team. Oh, it's awkward timing. Vinny plays his best when he's avenging, you know, yeah. uh, his, his, his best friend. He's got the passion in his veins. He's got the fire in his eyes. Yeah. Uh, me either. I don't know anything about it. I just know there's two characters. Vinny down here in the pit, though. Let's see. There's Ooh. one. Little tap. There is an app play. You were right about that. Vinny tries to regain control. Uh, does get put in the hole. Oh, no. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? Hobbit can't find a gun. He's dropped his. Oh, he's got a back view. 
Someone needs to open up. Kesarata makes noise to bait them away from Art, who's going to poke his head around the corner, clears Cold Zero, and gets traded. Now it's all on Kesarato, and time is the biggest factor. 1v2, and dink through the smoke. Wow. <laughs> Hobbit giving no respect, giving no room today. Shiro and him are having a great game. Those are always off limits, right? Yeah, you don't want to be looking after a virtual pet when you're looking after yourself. I get it. I'm a big enough animal as is. <laughs> Here we go. Art looking down middle. Oh. Well, uh, that wasn't a tag. Yeah, I was going to say, that would be his teammate. So, don't Bullet know just, woo, like it's you always, turn back at them. Yeah, it's like when you shoot a smoke and then a kill comes in and you're like, oh, I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. And so now a little B play on the cards by the looks of things. I'm no, you know, doctor. Okay. But this does look like a B play. Fury might need some surgery after this one. Smoke spam comes in, Harry style. Easy kill. Five on three, and Fury are locked out. If it was Gambit here, Harry they would styles. save. It's true, so that's true. Took me a while to even buy knives in this game. Art's oh, gonna go down middle. Oh, gotta be careful. They're up close, and oh, no second chances with Gambit around the corner. There's still lots more players on this A site. Fury have everyone here. Flash in, jumping Naphne, and it should be traded, it is. It comes at a cost. Inter's dinked. Gary, got to watch out there. Right round the corner on short side. Yuri trades another, but we still have Gambit a man up. The problem is the bomb. They need it back. Yuri under attack, and it's all on Gary at the back there of the There we A. go. This is it. His moment. They don't know about him. He's just hidden in the sight. Deep damage. Oh. Deep damage. Killing blow. Bomb dropped. Gary, now's the time, baby. Two players left to life. The Molly pushes him out. Shiro deep down to half, and it's a damn good F in the one on three, right? Shiro, he's waiting, he's waiting, and oh, any moment now, he can pull that trigger, fire one down the face of Fury. They dodge death. Oh, Gary needs to be further along. Yeah, I was going to say, it didn't look like he could peek out from that corner. Hit by the nade. Oh, the bullets will get there first. Naphne, oh, cuts down the first B rotate, and now there's just two more men trapped inside the bomb site. Will they realize and go back to B? Because I was not going to aggress and give Inters the pick. Now, he's just going to try and cut his way through the site, cut and dry it. Kesarato, one man alone. One kill to find, but they're all surrounding him. And there's Art dead at B as well. He did eventually push through. Go wrong. Yeah, I, you know, I don't even think that's a meme at this point. I think that's uh, pretty assured, I would say. Seal of approval. Slap it on there. Here we go. Out in the top mid for Gambit. Okay, Serato oh, with a deagle, but I know what this guy can do with deegs. And uh, I know what Hobbit can do with AKs as well, sadly, for him. They're wrapping oh. this A bomb site. Maybe Art oh. was the guy we should have looked at with the deeg doubling up. Axel, head on a swivel, has put this back into the advantage of Gambit. Now, there is this late lurk from Vinny. Vinny has been the lifesaver, the pacemaker for Furia, but a one on three. He has slipped the net of that AWP, but for how long? Oh. That is a cracking dig shot out of Vinny, but he's getting wrapped. Shiro's got the round locked in, and there it is. 14 up on the board for Gambit. And only a moment away, only a rifle round away from essentially taking the win. Fury will be broke uh, up against 15. Trying to take Banana back. Three CTs here. We've got an AWP up in the apartments as well for Art. Hobbit loves an apartments lurk, does this guy. He can be a real nuisance here. Art will get rid of him, though. That's quite the man to remove. This AWP of Art finally in a place to shine, Ooh. and here he is popping off with it. Axile trades the AWP out, but there's still this pit player left to worry about. Yuri blindsides nice. them, drops the bomb, and it's left on to Shiro in a one on four with 10 seconds left. This is a save if ever <laughs> you've seen one. It's seven on the board for Furia. They stay alive for now. Damn slow rounds out of Gambit, got to stay on this T side. So, always the option to change the pace once this util's out. Now they again concede B, so to Furia pulling players back to that A site once Art takes Banana. Gary's pushed off the angle, they chase him. They can't stop him though. Through the smoke, Case Arato lights him up with damage. That is damn good. He doesn't know about it either. The kill feed starts to bleed red as the assists come in. In terms of trade Yuri. Gary's still here and he's got a lot on his plate. Oh, 
Ooh, nice pickup though on to Axile. That's a real driving force of this A play removed. Oh, what? And Nade somehow deals Ooh. with Kesarato. Gary, that's not an easy shot to hit, but he does deal with Hobbit down in the pit. Vinny's going to help him out. And when these two are together, it's an entirely different beast. The Vinaguerri duo, baby, stepping up. I'd love to see a rush, man. I'd love to see a no respect round out of Gambit. Obviously, there's util to worry about. That is causing the slow starts out of the gates, but. So that's someone you don't want to run into, I can assure you of that. Art playing anti-flash, there's the one flash bank gone oh, over, oh, and that could have been one hell of a lineup. Instead, Vinny has been dinked no. and now finished off by Shiro. The AK in this round doubles up give me, give me, on give me. the entry. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give begging for the AWP, but don't worry, Fury aren't even coming in for this one. You boys <laughs> have got all the time in the world. And so Gambit, mostly armorless, come in with a clutch round. Uh, you know, this is Gambit. If they win this series, going three up in the group. Oh, Art wants to get involved. This is crazy. He smoked himself out, but they can spam it through. They're going to do so. He's going to delay his escape as a result. Axile's grab one, doubled up as Art feeds the beast, and both the AWPs have been removed. Daphne, uh, everyone's blind on either side, and it doesn't matter, matter where Gambit go, but Fury have made the read right now. They've pulled everyone off the B site. Nothing to lose. Why not Gambit? Oh, well, okay, Serato. Trying to repel them from A, they're gonna keep running down this double stack site. This is where both players are, but now it's just yeah, Vinny. Ready. Will, yeah, they shouldn't expect everyone to be here, but... Oh, oh he's, he's right. seen him! He's seen him in his nose, <laughs> and there he is, sealing the fate oh. of Fury on their map pick. Gambit lock in that victory. Now go 1-0 up in the series, and Gambit are hoping for a swift 2-0. What do we do? We wait, and then we go to Vertigo, and we see if Gambit do it again. But, all things considered, Fury getting more than five rounds, we'll take that, Jason. Yeah, I was actually I was actually relatively surprised at one point when I looked up in the first half and saw that I had five rounds. I was like, holy crap, that's actually... Oops. I know, I was like, <laughs> when did that happen? But, I mean, credit to them, but th this match kind of went exactly how it was. It wasn't a bad game by any means from Fury. It's just at the moment, you just gotta feel... it's. I don't. They just don't have the tools to, to get enough done to be able to take over Gambit, the number two team in the world. You gotta respect it. Yeah, and Shiro was fantastic with the AWP as well, which doesn't make things any easier when he's getting six and one in opening duels with that AWP on the CT side. Yeah, there just wasn't a whole lot of options for Furia. All right, okay. we got double nades for this site. Yeah, so Zeus in the pistol. Oh! And Vinny with the opener, that's the bomb dropped. Okay. Vinny and Kesarato taking heads off. They've oh. seen Shiro. Yuri's gonna trade that at least. They're still oh. pushing, they're still Ooh. fighting. And Face the nades. Well, they won't. They'll run away right as they come through. Art dodges death, and Yuri delays his as Gary gets involved again. Shiro Double up for Gary. is dead. Triple. Yeah, that, like mental is a big aspect. Look, Gary's having fun with it. He's screaming. He's shouting. It's getting loud. Love his necklace as well. I just want to throw that out there. I didn't see it. You'll see it in the future. Yeah. And so this is a nice little shutdown. Go on. Yeah, five and oh, this is more like it. Everyone give Gary some love, because he deserves it. Inters now. Should be dead here to Vinny, oh. and indeed he will be. Three and oh, Hugo, three and oh. He's uh, ready and willing to have fun with it at any point. Right now, Fury are fighting for a win, and this gun round is everything. Well, there's the opener for Kesarato. Oh. Now Vinny hi hi help helps out with the side swipe. Gary's holding on to middle, oh. and Hobbit will sideline him there with the peak up and over the crosshair. Oh. There will be two of them here. Now that bomb's going to go down, and there's really not too much you can do oh. about it, especially not with that Molotov falling a little shallow. Axar's still within the sight. Nafany holding for this oh. boost up, and there's Vinny on the receiving end of the Craig. The Midler comes through from Hobbit. Now we go back to a gun round for Furia. It will be their last if they can't pick it up. Last for now, of course. Or oh, on Art. Shiro's holding his angle. Oh, and he's got the tag as well. Doesn't take any damage back, though. So even though it's not the kill Shiro wanted, it's still fine. Axile has caught Kesarato at the bottom. He's taken down Vinny first, and Axile doubles up. The B recovery man from yesterday in that liquid game where he starts strong in this T side. What are the answers? Aren't waiting. There's a run boost about to get thrown in his way. Can he hit the flick? No. 
And with Yuri dead, yeah, you're out of there. You're gone. Gary will get one on the exit. That's Axel, the guy who started the round off with a double, removed. And we're having one of these games again where Gary's topping the charts, top of the board for Fury. Well, the save is going to be allowed. NA was with NA, and that was it. This uh, this map was, you know, kind of a cornerstone of the Fury uh, map pool. Right, they had that, you know, series versus 100 Thieves, and as, as an example, the last dance where they showcased that yeah. really nice, like, triple boost. But the reason I say that is they've at least got a lot of ideas, you know, a lot of protocols already in place, admittedly from maybe better times. But you're not going to be shy of little ways to try and squeak rounds past Gambit. Oh, cover's good. Plot almost caught. Hobbit goes back to the gun, but finally we'll get it down. And there's not much fury to do. Their util has been used. Terrorists win. Ah, oh, also taking a little Ooh. peek over this smoke. And finally, you're able to get the better of Axile yeah. over here towards B. He's been a constant cause for oh. concern. Are they ready for this boost? Scary Gary and Yuri uh. standing tall, totem pole, but down through the short side already. They're both blind to the flash and lined up by Hobbit. That is a wonderful flash thrown in by Shiro. This guy does it all. He'll flash for you, he'll frag for you, he'll even clutch a round or two. Oh, oh double molly. That's going oh, to... Oh, my God. Stuck between a hot and a hot place. Oh, oh there's one. Up. Oh, Hobbit going to trade it out. Now he's just full sending it. Now we say nothing to lose. This is the antithesis of that. Oh, oh, he's not ready. Oh, the flick. How does he get the second there? I do not know. Hobbit's low as well. Oh, got to be careful with that Molotov. Bro, look at his boys moving into T-spawn. Uh -oh. Okay, so, uh oh looks suspicious about these toilets, Hobbit. Oh. Okay, Serato is going wide, but Hobbit is waiting. Saw him. He jumps the peak, but Hobbit still wins that fight despite being low. Naphany now watching for this re-aggression. Oh, he's going to check the corner. Gary God and the flank denied as well. This round was always meant to be Gambit. Art just threw a spanner in the works with those first two up shots. That's if Hobbit lets you. I would hate to fight against this guy. Oh, thank goodness Yuri's there. Catching him at the worst of timings. But what they could look to do is something that we saw Liquid do a couple of times with uh, with like Fallen and Naf. You know, here if you're Gambit, you see that you have to start slowing it down. You have to start worrying about that flank down the ladder, right? Even though no one's doing it. Oh, the nade! Dead to it. Gary doesn't last long on the sandbags. Tries to smoke it, but smoke ain't gonna stop a nade. Axel has just left. It's a full A attack, and at least three CTs are here. Art, again, will not get involved in the round, sadly. Not until it's too late. Gambit are lying up smokes. And ready to explode. Yeah, Shiro peeking around. Yuri trying to hold the short side, just decapitated by Hobbit at the first peek in. Oh, Inter has just dinked Vinny through the short spam, and Hobbit is just merciless in his assault at this A bomb site. He's lurking back into mid, bearing in mind that he got kills at short. Hobbit now being in middle, coming in to try and take this gun away. Bro, he's, he's in your nightmares. He's named after the wrong damn film slash book. He should be Freddy Krueger. Although some negative connotations come with that one. Oh, gonna get away with the AWP. Maybe if Whoa. Hobbit lets him, if no. Hobbit lets him and Hobbit does not forgive. You know, and that's not been, you know, jaming it or, or whatever. He's been trying to get involved, but Gambit has been doing a great job at avoiding uh, any setups. And this round is another example. They walk through B with a flashbang, nothing else, no warning, and no defense. Furia, you don't want to call a save. Still five on five, you can give it a go, but this is so out of position. You have Hobbit again, T spawn, late lurking his mid play, Art's cut down, and now you're already starting to shrug your shoulders and wonder if it's worthwhile. They grab the orb, they tuck tail, and they leave. Not every day you get rounds like this on Vertigo. And also, Gamma have just not been going beat. But it's not like the, the money or the weaponry has been what's holding Fury back. Oh, oh, oh dude, Art. I feel so bad for him right now. He saved three rounds in a row. He goes, okay, I finally want to fight them. I'm going to peek mid. Well, then they went B, okay? 
That's fine. You know, a little unlucky, but it's fine. I'll PK ramp this time. Scopes up around the smoke. Gets walked on the other side, doesn't he? Smoke walk. Just shot in the head. K Serato back at this B bomb site. Can he be the hero that Furia needs? Oh, the flash. This is his teammate's oh. flash. Vinny, why are you going to do well, K Serato I, I, yeah, like that? You can't, it's, not, it's not Vinny's fault. Like, he's, he's called that flash. K Serato just peaked a, a millisecond earlier. Ah, Gabbit, now they're starting to just brim with confidence, running up these stairs round after round. Gary's dead. Vinny, with well, an orb. I get given a fight here. Well, not so much a might, he definitely will. There's Hobbit walking into his crosshair. Vinny with the opener. Two players make that three actually still here to try and deal with him. But do they even want to commit now that they've lost Hobbit? This kind of point man for Gambit already removed. Mid was very much his domain. Smoke down on short, but Napanee's already ahead of it. There he is, dealing with Vinny. That orb now removed. Axile. Oh, oh and enters. It's a meat grinder in this A-bomb site. Just feels like every round's like that, right? Like, everyone waltzes in. Everyone gets a kill. There's no trade in sight. Oh, by the way, Art's here. Hey, guys, is the round still alive? Well, technically, yes, but realistically, no. Even a kill from Kesarato will not tempt you into this one. Uh, yeah, that. are Probably crusty at this point, too. No one wants a crusty towel. But Gambit don't give you a choice. Nine on the board for Gambit. This has been a streak of nine. Furia won the pistol with that ramp push. They closed the anti ecos. One force in there. And ever since, it's been all Gambit, baby. It's not been enough kills to go around. You can't share it with everyone. Orp on sandbags, Art is in the right site at least. There's a Mag 7 on short. It's going to get flashed in and good kill for Nathalie as well. Flash not needed, not required. Art smokes to at least escape. If a Molotov comes in, maybe even... Oh, uh, oh. Nathalie's lost his gun. He's taken the Mag 7 to add insult to injury, and he's going to try and clear the A site with it. All the kills are coming in. Can Nathalie get any value out of the Mag 7? Nope, the Krieg steals, and Keserato revealed to not be in this A site. Yeah, dude, Nafani picking up the Mag 7. Case Rata could have just had the bomb there. It was in his vision. It was bottom of the, the bridge at ramp. Now they're, they're trying to find him. They just picked up the bomb. They just left, and they win the round. But yeah, they don't want to let you save this. So what kind of wild stuff are they going to do? Nothing too flashy from Hobbit. It's like a really weird reference to Shaun of the Dead. Oh, I need to rewatch that. It's been a while. Oh, but it's Nafani getting Simon pegged early on by Yuri. Okay, Serato. Up behind the wood. Well, Axel, I'll check for it. Arts found a kill deep down on ramp. That's nice. Smoke on the Molotov. But all that does is draw in the fire from Axel. Inters is even going to try and stab this B-hold in the back. Vinny, does he watch it in time? The timing's all being missed. Oh, no, Vinny comes back. It's too late. He's already dead. Falling off. Inters doubles up, and the B-side's clear. You don't have the bomb, and you barely have players standing. Inters could have get chased there Gary's by Yuri. Saving the day. Art is right behind them, and Axel's ready for it. He can leave to go get that bomb, and now this round is up in the air. Axel Yuri. throwing into the 1v2, but with Axel... Yeah, Ooh, nice. Yuri just biding his time. Getting it out. Oh. There's the killing blow. So Fury a break, <laughs> this silent streak. They come in with their first. Fury looking for five. That would be fine. That would be dandy. Art's going to get involved down on ramp, pushing through the smoke. If there was any round for it, it would be the last of the half. Oh, ah, both players here. Any flash to go through. He's, there's a knife out right now. There's no cover. Oh, they're right behind you. Shearer turns on the top and it puts a stop to Art. His boost of Napoli still has his knife out. Now with the smoke fading, they're going to try and fight for it. Ollie is not a problem, though, and Gambit are in no hurry. They've been fed a 5v4. They can just wait. Gary's in the spot. Oh, he peeks ahead Whoa. of any contact uh -oh. and is left fighting to his death. So now he's locked out. Yuri already smoked off by this little wall of smokes. They're going to replenish it now to add insult to injury. 
And he might feel compelled to take a gunfight here. Boosted up, back of the site. Vinny out on the boost as well, but they're just not being given anything. Gambit are just ratastic with how they're playing this five on three. Not wanting to leave anything to chance. The smokes fade and now the peaks are coming in. Now there's this fresh, confident face on Gambit wanting to 11 for the half and they're looking good to do so. Keserato, as good a clutch as this guy is, this one should be undoable. Even if everyone in the site dies, Hobbit still sat at the bottom of ramp there to win the round, but it wasn't needed. 11 of four, Gambit trying to make it 15 in a row on Vertigo. There's going to be time for that now with their CT side approaching. They see the smokes. They know what's happening. Shiro boosted here early. That bomb's going to go down, and we're left into a five-on-five -five retake. These can always be a little bit weird. Not as commonplace as they used to be. And there's Hobbit trying to tip the scales. Gary dead, but Yuri trades it out. Now looking for even more up in the site. Yuri's Glock delivers another killing blow. There's a big ramp flank coming in from Inters, but he's going to be very, very late oh. and won't even get to play into the round gambit. They put a lot of faith in waiting for that ramp wow. flank, and it's never even going to prove useful. You're not meant to feed ducks bread. No? Nope. What the hell? Who, no one told me that. You think there'd be more public info? Why not? It's actually really bad for them. It, uh, Why? It was, it was either... Grapes? Like, no. No, it, I don't know, like duck food. I don't know. Just duck Google, food, just Google right. the actual thing. I don't want to give out misinfo. Yeah. Oh, from bread to shit. And Naphany. Forget about ducks. We're talking desert eagles, baby. Gwery and Keserato come in with a killer piece up. And over goes Hobbit with the CZ. It's all getting chaotic. Smoke spam. And more players falling for Furia. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, the CZ at range. How does he do it? Gary caught falling back. Yuri might face the same fate. Even though oh, he's dealt no. with Hobbit, he's got to reload, and that signs his death warrant. Gambit come in with an immediate reply. Exactly what I mean. That's a weird coincidence. Oh, oh, Naphany, 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 Naphany. Whee! There it is. Yeah, it's a subconscious kicking in, man. Uh, I'm just I'm too smart for my own good. Gambit too good for their own good like 10 percent of that water in brain or something like yeah, that yeah your brain's actually so it's all about trying to convert as much of your body mass to water or to brain <laughs> i don't basically know basically soak your brain in fluid you could just not know about it people probe in electrons to make you see the pink sky or smell sandalwood the best way to play this in my eyes is just all going together and try to get it over and done with fast as you can. And oh, look, would you nice. look at that fury? They aim to please, they aim to move in as a unit. And look at the size of this unit in CT. Gambit Whoa. mowing them down. It's, uh, it's a done deal. Gambit are on to 14. There's one rifle round chance for Furia. Looking to go 3-0 up at the group. Remember that, not just finding a 15th in a row, but this puts them Timothy top, the only team flawless still after this day. Nice shot for Shiro through the smoke he goes, not respecting Art and his devilish ways. Furia now, they have to respect the rest of the smokes. Kind of go mid in the meantime. Two players push to inters. Oh dear. Fangle. Good for one. Not good for two. And that's the bomb cut loose outside of B. This no one help. could be a done deal. Axel pretty much here alone, but he does have Shiro moving in through CT to deal with Vinny. Can't win his fight on Yuri, however. And so Yuri's given a chance at the one on three. Miss shot for Shiro, and he's going to get the hell out of danger and then kind of sit in the danger for a moment. <laughs> Yuri, come on now. Oh, put an end to by Hobbit, the great clutch denier. But the wow. more you know. Shiro with the opener, chased down by these SMGs. Fury have got nothing to lose and everything to gain, apart from the game, that is. 
Hobbit up on top of double, oh. just looking to fight them, looking to put an end to Furia, and that double should have done it. Nafani's ready to push through this short smoke to add insult to injury. Oh. Two on three, Still but goes. Nafani drops the bomb Ooh. and finishes the job. It's Gambit 2-0, oh. 15 wins in a row on Vertigo for this Gambit squad. Jason Moses O'Toole said it was all very possible. It was all within the realms of possibility. When it came down to Furia, winning against Gambit in this best of three. Not to mention Vertigo, not to mention that of Inferno, but obviously he was wrong. And so with that, we can sort of run away with the idea that Gambit didn't really have a contest in this matchup and ended as expected, right, Jason? Yeah, this was nice and easy. I mean, this is crazy to think that Fury would have been to upset them on Vertigo. They've been undefeated in, in how long? It's, like, it's past memory. Um, great game from Hobbit again, obviously. I actually thought in this game, too, like Yuri had a good game, 18 and 15, and in like a really tough scenario to be in. Art did a good job in the first half of getting some opening kills that ADVP, but just couldn't get anything going in their way. Even in those man disadvantage situations, Gambit was so good at just moving around the map and coming right back into it. Talk to me about some of the positive reinforcement you might receive from your teammates after you win or lose. Like, tell me what that sounds like. Yeah, they are just cheering. Sometimes they are telling me stuff like, you can go get here. You, you can, uh, they don't know about you or something about that. But, but overall, we are, they are just helping me and like making sure that uh, I will do uh, the, right, the right thing, you know? Because I'm not playing uh, like for for years now, so yeah. it's yeah. hard to play CS. You officially found out that you were going to have to step in and play this group stage for Furia. Was it just hit the DMs? <laughs> Was it <laughs> just hours on end DMing and making sure your game gets up to par? Yes, I am playing DM, but it's not working, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like it's worked okay up to this point. I mean, people, you know, the internet loves you, Gary. The internet sees what you're doing in the server. They see what you're capable of. But... Tell us about that overpass game on the first day. How did that feel? Were, yeah. you, a little, were you a little surprised when you topped the server? <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't like to play overpass, but I was so hyped to play, like, the first yeah. official with the guy. So uh, I was just playing uh, as Rotate, and it's easy to play as a Rotate for me because I'm always watching Casarado. So I'm just just feeling well and playing good CS. And just uh, when when I had the opportunity, I, I didn't miss uh, the, the, the read, you know? So yeah. it's not about M, N, just doing the right thing. We will play for, for Wing for the W against both teams. Uh, I know it's difficult, but I, I will do whatever I need to, like giving uh, echoing to, to giving AWP, giving AKs, giving uh, M4s, playing Deagle, and that's okay. I just want to have fun because uh, it's, it's difficult to play against the best teams uh, when you are not playing CS. So I just, uh, I'm not, I'm not worrying about my my frag. I'm just uh, thinking about uh, my my boys and how can I help them. Galera, pessoal da tribo, Gal Gal, rapaziada, todo mundo que está assistindo aí, obrigado pela torcida. É um momento difícil, né, de jogar é, como standinho de coach depois de quatro anos sem jogar CS. Mas a gente está dando nosso máximo aqui e, e não estão brincando. Eu tô, a gente quer ganhar. Hoje foi muito difícil, né? O segundo melhor é, time do mundo e é muito difícil jogar contra a Gambit. Eles jogam bem devagar. É, a mira dos caras é muito boa, mas é, a gente, a gente vai dar o máximo para tentar buscar essas duas últimas é, partidas e quem sabe é, jogar uns playoffs é, e dar uma, um pouco de alegria aí que é, tá, tá difícil a vida dos brasileiros já faz um tempo, mas é, pode ter certeza que a gente está trabalhando bastante, mesmo comigo aqui eu tava treinando, enfim, vambora rapaziada, obrigado pela torcida e dia de fúria, tamo junto. Let's talk about what we have coming up. Of course, there is a full day of matches still ahead of us. We still even have to get down to, I'm pretty sure it's Sunday with the uh, with the, the final game of the group, which is a cool yeah. thing all by itself, nonetheless. So Liquid Team 1 tomorrow. We got Gambit and Tropic and a little bit of Nip Furia action to sort of round it all out with. And perhaps some of Furia and Gary's uh, wishes, they come true. That's basically what we're looking at. So for us, Jason, why don't you sign us off? Uh, yeah, we're all good. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow for another day of ESL Pro League. See you there.